Um, I don't have an issue with it. I don't, I don't, I don't have an issue with it. Do you think that's fair to the boxing fans that they don't really have access to Saudi Arabia? It's not, it's not up to me to make that judgment or speak for boxing fans. If uh, Andy Ruiz has an opportunity to go out there and kick Joshua's ass again like I predict that he will um, in November, I mean in December, um, more, more Would power. Would you ever promote a fight out there? I can't say what we won't do because I haven't been presented with that opportunity to, to make that determination. What's your selection process on? Um, I know you have King Kong Ortiz coming up, but who would you like to see out of Andy Ruiz, Anthony Joshua, win that next fight so you can face them in the unification? I mean, I, I like Andy Ruiz. You, Ruiz um, I liked him in the first fight and I like him in the second fight as well. In my opinion, I think it's an even more bigger fight, you know, here in the, you know, between the two. You know, especially how he won the first time. And it's all going to determine how he if he's able to win the second time, you know, um, with Joshua, you know, we tried many, many, many times to get that fight come forward to make a dream fight happen, you know, for the fans to unify the division to have one champion, one face, one name. And as you can see, that was a, a, a long process, a process where, you know, we had, uh, we had, you know, different, different uh, mile markers being stressed once we completed we had to do something else we had to do this had to do this you know what i mean it was a lot you know this is a gladiator sport this is a man's man sport and i'm a grown man i don't have time for games being that ruiz is under the same stable as i much easier much easier fight to make and i think an even more exciting fight as well did you see the joshua fight with ruiz and and do you think joshua could win that rematch against andy ruiz at the heavyweight division on the heavy, heavyweight uh, that, that's when Joshua and the other dude came on the ring. came in the ring. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, what? The rematch. They're going to they're gonna run so, that back. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I don't know, man. I, th I thought, from what I've seen, what jo Joshua did the last time, I think he could have did better. What's he got to do then? What adjustments? Yeah, well, that, 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 some of the things that he got is because, to me, a lot of times a fighter come in the ring, man, and, and they, they just say where they're supposed to be. You right, you say the man too, right there, you right. Mm -hmm. you know? Joshua and Ruiz next week, Bob? Oh, we were, yeah. In Saudi Arabia? Unfortunately, the, the game of the year will be on against that, you know, LSU and Georgia. Right. Who do you think wins that fight, though, Bob? L LSU. Well, no, uh, who wins that fight? Yeah, I think, <laughs> I, I think Andy Ruiz. I think Andy wins again. I think Joshua is overrated. And, you know, I just think uh, Andy is underappreciated. He fought most of his fights for us. And uh, I know how good he is. He has a low center of gravity, mm -hmm. which is good against the big heavyweight. And people don't realize what great hand speed he has. So is it is it more just the physical stuff? You don't buy into the psychological Joshua's broken and, and No, that's and... bullshit. I mean, but again, in back of Joshua's mind is the fact that he got knocked out by this guy. Right. I mean, so that is a factor. How big a factor, I don't know. Every fight is tough. The thing, um, if I were to analyze it, I think Joshua has certain skills, but I'm not sure mentally if he recovered, and I'm not sure mentally when he gets hit, which he will get hit. Right. If um, it comes back and he, um, you know, thinks about it. Look, if I managed him, I never would have let him say what he said with the Deontay. I don't know if all of you know it. Before the fight with Deontay and Brazil, he said, I took seven rounds to beat him. He said, if Deontay takes eight, it shows I'm a better man. Then Deontay blew him out in the first round, and he publicly said, it messed me up. I never would have let him admit that. If he did, then keep it to yourself. That, to me, is a little bit weakness in character. Hopefully, you know, it's a good fight. Um, if I had my druthers, he wins. 
fights Fury, he wins against Fury, Ruiz wins, him and Ruiz fight, and then we come to the UK and fight um, Joshua. That would be my ideal scenario, but you know, as Don King says, it's a long way from the spoon to the mouth, and a lot can change. Wow, do you think Andy wins the rematch? I think if they don't fix what's wrong with Anthony Joshua, Andrew Ruiz wins that fight hands down. You mean mental? What is yes. mental? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, whether it's meant, it, it must be mental because he didn't look the same coming into the ring like he usually looked. So there was something definitely there. Hopefully, it'll come out in the in the future. So you think that it's more uh, Anthony Johnson's problem than well, well, I think. Um, Anthony Joshua made it easy for Andy Ruiz because he wasn't fully there. So if he was fully there, it would probably be a different fight. And I don't know if it would be a different outcome, we would have to see. Uh, Joshua and Ruiz, the big rematch oh God, next week. Who's one. going to win, Robert? I can't wait for that fight. Who's going to win? Look, it's going to be a, it's going to be a difficult fight for both, but I think, I think, I think, uh, I think uh, Andrew Ruiz pulls it off again. He already, he already, he already got his number. He already did it once. I think he could do it again. Not just because he's La Raza. Well, you know, we got to cheer for him because of that, because he's Mexican American, just like we are. But, uh, but you know, I think he's got a really good chance because he already, he already beat him once. Dominate him mentally, physically, and I think he could do it again. What's more, why? What's more, why you're yeah. picking him, mentally or physically? I think it's more mentally. That Joshua yeah. is. Joshua's probably, you know, has that in his head, you know, that that he already that he already lost him, and he already dominated the way he did. Do you see Joshua being mentally weak heading into this fight, or is that? Well, it he's know, champion. I, I do see that. I, 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 it's, it's possible. He's a professional. He's a, uh, he's, you know, he's a complete athlete. So it shouldn't, but it is possible. I mean, he, all, you know, I say that he's been heavyweight champion of the world. So how right. mentally weak right, could right. he possibly no, be? Look, but he, uh, you know, if, if he's, if he's uh, that, uh, that mentality where, oh shit, that guy already beat me, then he's gonna get beat again. But if he comes back stronger, then he should go out and beat him. You know. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what what uh what kind of you know. I can't wait for the fight. One week away. I can't wait for it because it's gonna be a pretty exciting fight. You know how Joshua knocked Klitschko out with the uppercut. He, he's got beautiful he, left hooks. He does. He is. But is but so does uh, Ruiz, and he's shorter. Ruiz so is, is that short? A he's, he makes the fight awkward. He's gonna pressure. He's gonna throw punches from all over. So <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see again. But right now, soul searching time. I can't say if taking the immediate rematches is, is wrong or right. He knows where he's at. Sometimes getting right back on the horse is the right thing to do. Sometimes taking a break is the right thing to do. No case is the same. He knows where he's at and he seems to be a smart individual. So I think he's going to, uh, I think if he wasn't ready, I think, I think he would probably take a fight in between. I'm not sure what the contract reads, if it's immediate or not. I'm not sure. I'm assuming it is. Um, to Joshua's credit though, he hasn't been boxing that long. His total career is just over 10 years, if I'm not mistaken. Most of us, at least I had, Tim had, 10 years under our belt before we had our first pro fight. So he's really an overachiever. Deontay Wilder is really an overachiever. If you really look at the whole career and the time spent in the ring. And that's to be, you know, that's commendable. Um, I think with Joshua, and people took the comment the wrong way, and they kind of spun it. And I, and I get it about the the bodybuilding. And stuff. That wasn't I wasn't I wasn't trying to pile on. Like I have a lot of respect for Joshua. Uh, I ain't like we said about Lennox though. I can't get on board with that. But I have a lot of respect for him uh, as a fighter. I know how hard it is, obviously, and I know that when you lose, people love to pile on. And I didn't intend for my comment to be that, even though it was kind of spun like that. Basically, what I was saying was, you know, like put the weights down, put the battle ropes down, put put the fitness stuff down. You are a big man. You're strong. You got enough physical strength. Ch lean out a little bit. Don't do any resistance work. Just work on your conditioning. Get in the gym with Robert McCracken and just work your skill. Be honest about where, where you're deficient. Sure up those areas. Get those areas better. And then go out there with the right mindset that I'm going to get my title back. And that, that's going to put him in the best position to win but just just put that's what I meant to say what I was trying to say um, but he has a shot you know it depends on how he comes back Lennox did it you know Lennox did it sometimes sometimes getting knocked off your perch can can create a monster and sometimes it can knock you down and you can never recover but that's the beauty of boxing that's why everybody's gonna tune in that's why they're gonna make the money they're gonna make
that's why we're gonna really see how good Anthony Joshua really, really is. Because he's been knocked off his perch. We all can ride high when we're standing tall, but what can you do when things don't go your way? What can you do when you have some real adversity? Not, oh, I got buzzed in the fight, but I recovered. Or I got knocked down, but I got up. You've been knocked off your perch. The whole world turned on you. Now what are you made of? Oh, I, I was, first of all, I was surprised. I like everybody. Like, most, like <laughs> everybody, you know. Um, and I have to say, uh, if, if he pulls it off again, I'll be surprised again. Uh, so uh, I think, I think um, they do say styles make fights. Uh, I think uh, Andy Ruiz is a terrific fighter. I think it's great for the sport that you see these kind of things happen. That's why we all love the sport, because you just never know. Even if one is a 10, 20, 100 to 1 favorite, one punch can change it all. And I think it was that one punch, which uh, I think was in the third round, third round. So, mm -hmm. which, uh, which Joshua just couldn't recoup, recoup from. And uh, he wasn't the same after that. And it was that one punch which changed which changed in a way the heavyweight division and certainly that fight. But um, I think it's one of those classic situations as well that um, it is one of where, where, where Joshua underestimated uh, Ruiz so and thought like, look, this guy, I mean, come on, how is he even in the ring with me? And then you start like maybe sparring around less and uh, running a little bit less and maybe waking up a little bit later and taking it a little bit easier and suddenly a fight which should have been a slam dunk is not a slam dunk anymore and then it only does take one punch to change it all so i think this time around anthony joshua knows that his legacy is at stake and i think you're going to be seeing a much better prepared anthony joshua having said that you're going to see as well a andy ruiz with a lot of confidence going into that ring and uh, uh, I'm sure the little, the little voice in his head is going to say, I did it once and I'm going to do it again. And uh, so it's going to be another another great night. I mean, it's amazing. Break it down in the rematch. What needs to be done for each fighter in order to come out successful? Well, it's, you know, you know that they, like one person got to, got to make the change. That's, that's Anthony Josh because he lost. Because at the end up the same way, he's still going to lose. But if... Pretty much wasn't that, you know. That's Anthony Joshua's first time somebody cooning him off. They just think about it. He knocked this guy down first. This mm -hmm. guy get up, and this guy then go backward. He he started cutting him in and make him made him fight a little harder than he was accustomed to. And so when you ain't accustomed to fighting the back guy, having these these sparring matches that your sparring partner putting this pressure on you and all that, then this is what happened. Now. Great fighters make adjustments. That's what do. Great fighters make adjustments. I so said, if you're going to be champion one time, but to be champion two times, that you have to make some adjustments. I so said, but if nobody never become better, you don't never have to make adjustments. And it's easy to do it. But do think about the guys that always have to make adjustments. He's losing weight right now. He, he feels like he wants to tone up more. Would you tell Ruiz that's maybe a bad idea or? Or go for it. I mean, because he, he won the title with the physique he had. Should he just keep that? or? Well, I'm, I'm you know, he got to make that decision for himself. Because the fact that the matter is that, you know, I guess if I'm talking anybody, if people tell him, they, they feel good about themselves. I'm talking, you know, it just, you know, you wake up and you look in the mirror and say, oh, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm good. And sometimes you look at the mirror, you don't, even, you don't even look at the mirror. You put it, they throw something over the mirror because they don't want to see themselves. I'm saying life is about confidence, mm -hmm. and so you know, I, I, I was you know, not so much that he was that way, but I, when he won the title, and I told people, I said, now, now, you see that you're looking at somebody and think they can't do nothing just because how they look, prove you wrong. It's more than what you see. How, how do you see that rematch going, Ben? Hard to tell. I think that what Joshua needs to learn is he needs to learn how to control the distance and control the tempo, but without exchanging punches. Um, if he can learn how to do that and know how to do that, I think he'll have a lot more success. And I hope that he's not going to be too gun-shy and let that last 
performance affects it affecting too much because that can happen to anybody. It can happen to get cold shots, you know. So we'll find out. There's, there's part and parcel of it. We'll all uh, we'll all find out. Because so much uh, is being made about uh, what where his head was at walking to the ring and all that. Do you do you buy into that, or was it just stylistically he, he ran into a, a bad fight? Then? I don't know him on a personal level, so I couldn't tell you whether that's normal for him, out character for him. I can say that. Uh, what I can say is that for a couple of fights, I've seen that I felt like he's been a little bit caught in between the styles. Of, he's trying to develop like everybody's, and I felt felt like he's been caught between styles of trying to box be a little bit looser, more relaxed, um, but yeah, also have that maximum output that Anthony Josh is known for, so, you know, he's, he's trial and error and it's part and parcel of the sport, it can happen, you know, so, so we'll, we'll find out not too long. If you're Anthony Josh's coach or trainer, do you take the immediate rematch? I think you're almost in a position where you have to because Joshua is a guy who unified the titles and you don't want to risk those titles becoming ununified and all the politics coming into play. So because of the situation, it's kind of leaves you in a bad position, bad position if you don't take the immediate rematch. So, you know, whether you agree with it or not, you kind of has to do it, you know, because uh, otherwise you're you're gonna put a, uh, you're gonna put a lot of the work that you did, you're gonna risk it becoming undone. Even if you fight him later, I mean, granted, you get people, the, the devil's advocate can say, "Well, what if he loses again? He's going to risk undoing the work anyway." Sure, of course, but you know, you, you, you roll the dice. This is what boxing is, right? Paul, you said during commentary when Ruiz won that Andy Ruiz played Anthony Joshua all week. He was smiling, yeah. taking pictures. He played with everybody the belt. all week. We're seeing a little bit of a different side to Anthony on Twitter. He's putting some stuff. And out now you're seeing the real Andy. You know, what, what is that? The guy, I know Andy's a fighter. He has an edge to him. You know, I, mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think all fighters have an edge to them. You know, if you thought Andy Ruiz is just showing up like a happy-go-lucky guy the, first, the fight week, then he played you for a sucker. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a fighter and he's a top contender, and you know, he was a top contender before that fight. This wasn't Butterbean. He may look like Chubby, but he's not. He's not Butterbean. You know, he was a guy who was a legitimate heavyweight contender. So, you know. If you believe that he was just showing up just to, as a happy-go-lucky guy, you know, you got played for a sucker. And now I think you're seeing the, the more of a true side, more of a, the, the fighter side of Andy Ruiz, where, you know, there's a bit of a spite in him, you know, and and um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think he's a fighter, and, and that's what he's going to do. You know, it doesn't make him a bad guy. It doesn't make him a nice guy. It just makes him a fighter, and that's what fighters do. And so, um, you know, it, there's nothing wrong with it. Do we see um, in the rematch a far better Joshua and a far better Ruiz, considering Ruiz only had five weeks? Yeah, um, you have a possibility, you know, I mean, Ruiz is already in shape because he had just knocked out Dimitrenko, you know, so um, you might have, I don't even, you know the thing is, whether you see a better Ruiz or not, I don't think you got to see all of Ruiz. I don't think he had to use his whole arsenal to get Joshua out of there. I, I think he just, he, he fought a pretty basic fight and he, and he, and he got Joshua out of there. So you, you may see a better Ruiz because Joshua may force a better Ruiz as well. And also, Joshua will come with a mentally stronger game plan, and uh, physically he'll, he'll obviously come with a stronger game plan. So, in that regard, you, you expect to see a better Joshua. So, in that regard, you expect to see a more more Ruiz and a better Ruiz because Ruiz will have to show more of himself. You didn't see all of Ruiz in that fight. He, he fought a pretty basic fight, and, he, and, he, and the fight ended. When you go into a rematch, Paulie, and you're going into a, going into a fight where a fighter has already knocked you out, dropped you three, four times. Is it more a psychological fight? So if I get into the ring, with, with, sorry, Joshua gets in the ring with Ruiz, and Ruiz lands once, does Joshua's mindset all of a sudden have almost a memory recap? Um, it can be, but it's also something that is in Joshua's mind. Only he knows that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes only you know when you get hit. You know, I, I think uh, I, I, AJ strikes me as a mentally strong fighter. When I saw the Klitschko fight, I really believe like, wow, this guy got up off his ass in, in front of 90,000 people and, and put this together when he was out. You know what I'm saying? And he was almost out of the fight. And he even lost the next couple of rounds after that, but refused to w wither away and then eventually got this guy out of there. To me, that was impressive, not because of what he did physically in stopping Klitschko, but what he did because of mentally stabilizing himself in such a storm. I, don't, I think in the Ruiz fight, it's possible that when you don't expect a tough fight and you're in a tough fight, your mind can never stabilize itself. I think he went into the Klitschko fight expecting a tough fight. So when it got tough, mentally he stayed with it. Maybe in the Ruiz fight he took him lightly. Maybe in the Ruiz fight when he goes on his ass, he suddenly finds himself in a place where he might not have expected to find himself in that fight. In the Klitschko fight he probably told himself, I may wind up on my ass, but it's not going to mean, mean the fight's over. In the Ruiz fight, he's on his ass and he might be thinking, I, don't, I shouldn't even be here. What happened? You know, and you suddenly can't stabilize yourself mentally in the fight. You know, and before you know it, the fight's over. So maybe, um, 
you know, from a, from a mental perspective, he knows how dangerous Ruiz can be now, and and he'll have more of an edge to him, you know, because because I can't just see a guy like Joshua having such a mental edge in one fight and then having no mental edge at all in another fight. So it just it just didn't come together for me, and it still doesn't come together for me. So I think that that edge he had, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be there for the, for the for the rematch. Not to say Andy doesn't have that edge too, but obviously the guy always has it. But we're talking about Joshua here because he got beat. I think Joshua comes with that edge this fight. Who wins? It's tough, man. It's tough, you know. Um, you, know you, you might find a fight where they both get up off their ass again, you know. You're gonna do Oh, uh, uh, if I work it, you know. I mean, if the money's if, right. If Sky, <laughs> if Sky hires me, sure, why not, you know. Um, but uh, it, it's gonna be a good fight. You think he holds on to the championship next week? Man, I don't like to make those kind of predictions, man. You know, Chris, Chris Algeri here, he knows the game. <laughs> who's gonna win? By. I try to sneak by. Man, who's gonna win, Ortiz? Uh, Are you picking? Or Ruiz and, How are you and Joshua? I, uh, I, I, I think I see Ruiz doing it again. I think All right. I see something, someone. Okay. All right. That's, uh, now I'll give him my opinion. I don't give <laughs> <a person. laughs> I'm gonna listen. Yeah. I, uh, I think Anthony, Anthony Joshua, and and the okay. reason why is you know people kind of forget the first two rounds and, and he looked tremendous. I think he's gonna come in with that kind of, of vitality. And uh, but I was impressed with him when he fought Klitschko. Mm -hmm. That he took a shot and came back. And you were there up close. I, That's yeah, right. of course. That's and right. but I think he got overconfident, you know, on seeing Ruiz and you know how he looked and he took some heavy shots, mm -hmm. uh, maybe because he got a little bit more relaxed. So Anthony Joshua, bro. I, and I won't tell too many people that, but I will tell you that. Thank you, Steve. Right. But I remember uh, he, he landed the uppercut against Klitschko, right? Oh, devastating. Great left hooks. Yeah. That's Ruiz's style too, but he's shorter. Can he get underneath and does he have the style uh, uh, matchup in his favor, Ruiz? Well, well that, that is it, Mike Tyson style, right? Right. You know, he always cut the gap on these guys. and But uh, if, uh, I was training Joshua. I'd tell him, you tie him up like Klitschko did. Throw punches <laughs> and tie him up, you know? And that's probably his best defense. But that, that took years from Emmanuel Stewart, right? Yeah, to learn well, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and I think the Klitschko had one that camp. technique. Yeah, but you know, throw some shots at the distance and tie him up. But yeah, as Ruiz Devereux is, is devastating. And you know, on my side, I hope he wins it. And, and stitch, just you know, as a fan, right, right, yeah, of course. Yeah, that you hope uh, Joshua wins. Or no, Ruiz, Ruiz, of course. Yeah, because that's yeah. what I was wondering. As, as Mexican American, he's the first heavyweight champion, Mexican or Mexican American. Does, do you think that makes? Uh, well, put it this way: if he were to win the fight, how big do you think he would be in the community? I mean, he's already big now, brother. You know, he just made history, major, major history, and uh, of course, you know, consistency is going to take you to a different level. And uh, if he wins the second one. Uh, uncharted waters, man. I don't think anybody, uh, if any Mexican uh, heritage or Latino heritage, uh, Roberto Clemente and these guys, but he falls up in that category as he always go down as, as a legend, as a great fighter. Would he be as big or maybe could he get even bigger than Canelo if he could hold Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this second fight will automatically take him because now you got two audiences. You got the, the Chicanos, the Mexican Americans, uh -huh. the Orelevatos, and then you have the Mexicans, <laughs> right? And uh, so, yeah, of course. Of course. And one guy's a heavyweight, one guy's a middleweight light heavyweight. Yeah, but so just the story. You know, right, you know the right. story that he has is is tremendous. I worked one of his early, early fights with Jeff Jamojo and, and Justin, and and uh, I was impressed with him then. I hadn't seen him since, but I'm glad for him. Well, what impressed him when you were working uh, His up techniques, with? his whole style, his style of fighting, you know, and uh, was very, very impressive. And lastly, Stitch, uh, before I let you go, I just want to know, you, you touched on it earlier, but when you saw Joshua up close, what were the things that stood out and you remember to this day and impressed you? During, during the fights? Yeah, uh, when, just, when, just, with just his ability, everything that you saw. Yeah, his, uh, you know, his tenacity. You know, he fought, you know, and, and Klitschko fought. And it became a tremendous fight. But when he got up from that shot, because he was hurt, and I think that's probably the moment where Klitschko says, damn, I wish I would have had those five seconds, ten seconds back, because he could have attacked him and, and put him out. But he was uh, the sword. And... Uh, and I think he's capable of doing that again, you know, and I think he's coming in with a whole different game plan. You have to. So we'll see what happens. Because he showed major heart in doing that. Now everybody's questioning it for, after the Ruiz. Well, they're so. always going to question, you know, but, you know, the guys are champions because they're champions, right. you know, for because they're doing something right. Right. And in this game, all it takes is one shot. And like Deontay Wilder, you know, with the long, long right hand, uh, that's one thing that I think Joshua has opposed to Ruiz. So we'll see what happens. Just with the left hook instead of the right hand, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah, both hands. Yeah. Yeah. How do you get somebody that's coming in? You hit him with an uppercut also, right? Right. So we'll see. You know, we'll see how they, uh, how, how he was, uh, he changed his style for this event. And uh, 
I guess we'll talk about it uh, the week after. after. Huh? Yeah. What did you uh, What did you think of that fight? Like, were you shocked to see? No, no. no? I mean, you know, Ruiz is a legitimate contender. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, you know, fought some good fights to get to that opportunity. It wasn't given to him, mm -hmm. and he can fight. As simple as that. He can fight. And he showed it. He wasn't afraid of him, still right in front of him. And it was like, to me, it looked like a mystery to to Joshua. Like, the guy actually standing in front of me and couldn't find him. Because he's standing straight up, throwing punches and shooting right over top of Ruiz's head. And Ruiz is lighting his ass up. Mm. You know, I look for that repeat of that as well. Wow, really? Yes, I look really? for a repeat of that. Even yeah. nasty. Do you think Joshua took him lightly? Because because Ruiz no, was a last minute replacement. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but uh, Joshua came to get it. You know, take care of him like he did everybody else. Mm -hmm. It was just that Ruiz could fight, mm -hmm. and when he hurt you, he know how to get rid of you. Because mm -hmm. most times when you hurt a guy, if you don't drop him in that instance. It's even harder to get them once they're hurt because they're more elusive. Mm -hmm. Even more so being being hurt. You know, they're harder to try to zero in on. But the was sharp and you know pinpointed those shots and caught him. Do you see any comparisons to? I mean, I know that was a big upset now, and and I, I don't think it's anywhere near the upset that yours was. But do you see some similar comparisons where? They made Ruiz to be this big underdog, even though he can fight. Well, he had I mean, earned the right to be there. He was an underdog, of course, but it was like, a, what? It was, what, what? No, it wasn't 42. It might have been like 10 or 13 to 1 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. He was definitely fighting. Yeah, but similar, still similar circumstances. He can, I mean, like you said, he can definitely fight just like you can. And yet, people weren't giving him the credit going into the fight. Oh yeah, because of, look at the look at the uh, physical appearance. Mm -hmm. You know, Joshua was this big six six, you know, silhouette of a heavyweight champion. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then Ruiz, a little short, stubby guy, mm -hmm. six two. You know, and then when they look up, when they compare. Joshua was towering over him. Mm -hmm. They're like, what is this? This, has, this is going to be a wash. Right. You know, no similarity like that. But other than that, it was and Joshua. I mean, that Ruiz is a beast, man. Wow. So you think it's going to be even worse the second time around? Worse, he's enjoying being a heavyweight champion. He's enjoying it a lot. He's been he's been out and about a lot. You don't yeah. think that's going to affect him at all? Well, he's like, got time to train. He's mm, training true. now. So true. not like six weeks or seven week training he's gonna have a you know, well over 12 12 weeks mm -hmm. of preparation so he's gonna be ready you got any advice for Ru i know going into the fight he talked about possibly losing some weight you know to be a little faster is, is, is that a smart idea or should he just stick to what he did the first time probably lose, be a little more toning mm -hmm. you'll see a different one definitely difference mm -hmm. moving into that fight mm -hmm. i look forward to do it again wow Oh. All you got to do is hit that mark and that certain chin. Because mm -hmm. Joshua's been known to get touched, he's going to go down. Mm. You know? mm. So it ain't like he can take a shot. Wow. You know, you know, that's the magic button right there. Yeah. I know they say that it's, you know, it's easier to, uh, or it's harder to, um, I know it's, they say it's easier to uh, earn, earn the title than it is to keep it. Mm. Is that how it goes? Yeah, something like uh, that. What do you think? You think you think it's what you, I'm about to say? Because once you get that title, you know, are you are you as hungry afterwards? You know, and, and that's that's why a lot of people may not uh, you know they, they don't well, keep I think their he's hungry because he's enjoying the fact of being the champion. Mm -hmm. So he wants to get, he wants to, he likes that status. He wants to always be walking around like the man, which he always will be. But he wants to maintain being the man, the man. Mm -hmm. You know, like I still got the belt. They're still chasing me. Mm -hmm. you know, and I think Ruiz is that type of guy. That's how he's talking now. Yeah, yeah right he is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's focused. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he gets to fight the same guy. Fighting the same guy again. Mm -hmm. And it's and really the pressure's gonna be on Joshua. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, oh that was a mistake. Yeah, I know it. Don't get him this time, right, Jam? Yeah, I'm gonna get him. 
<laughs> well, he does. He can hang his hat on the fact that he got the first knockdown in the fight. So maybe he can. Uh, maybe he and can that's live because with that. Ruiz was cold. Mm. You know, still kind of. Ooh, this is a title. Mm -hmm. You know, all of a sudden, bang, to get hurt. Oh, shit, that wasn't that. Let me stay far. Yeah, he got up pretty easily. Yeah, he got up easily, man. Then got up and never looked back. <laughs> Ripped into him, buddy. Yeah. So how do you think that rematch would go tonight? You know, I like Ruiz in the first fight. I like him in this fight. But some, some, I read somewhere he said he lost a lot of weight. I don't think that's good for him because he's always fought big, you know. And I just hope he don't hurt himself by trying to lose weight. And, what, and you know, just from a, a fan perspective, what would happen if he lost too much weight? Like, why, why do you say that? Well, because it, it, it tears, takes away his stamina. He, this guy has been big all his life. Mm -hmm. So why change something that you've been successful at? Mm -hmm. You know, I wouldn't change anything. You know, I mean, look, you know, he throws punches. He's always in great shape. So why would you need to lose weight in order to fight after the Joshua game? Don't see it. Don't see it. Ruiz Joshua Keith, how does that go? The second one. The second one, you know, I mean, I definitely lean a little bit towards Joshua mm. because people forget that Joshua got the first knockdown. He got the first knockdown. The fight could have been over. It wasn't, but it could have been. You know, so and and Joshua didn't look like Joshua. You know, a lot of times when fighters hear that they're fighting a replacement, they sit on the couch a little longer. You know, uh, Joshua trained in Miami. I haven't heard of too many great training camps that happen in Miami. I heard of nice parties and clubbing and stuff goes down in Miami, but not great training camps. I'll tell you that much. Huh? Yeah, I'm from Florida. I know. Winner of a prediction on that that fight. I gotta see where where uh, what Joshua will come out. You know, Joshua looks like not himself. Like he doesn't want no more. And Ruiz looks very hungry. You know, so he put on a great fight. And uh, I think we'll do it again, you know? But we gotta see. Do you think that what would be the adjustments that Josh would probably need to do going into the second fight? Uh, I don't think he should let us. He should, he should be running away from the smaller man. Like uh, he was boxing instead of step two, the guy, which I think he should do, you know? Step two is instead of running, running around trying to box him. Josh, I think Josh was gonna win that fight. I, well, I think they're gonna. Uh, this is my opinion. I think they're gonna pay him off. You say pay Andy off? Oh, definitely. Really? I Joshua can't be him. Oh wow! I, I thought you were gonna do no, like a Josh. breakdown. <laughs> like yeah, I, no, 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 Lennox Lewis, Rockman, no, no, Oliver McCall, Lennox, no. They're gonna hope this guy keeps partying as much as he's gonna party. Ruiz, they're gonna hope he keep he's still partying. Why don't you think um, Joshua can, you know, fight? Joshua doesn't have the heart. Doesn't have the heart? He quit. He quit in that last fight. Hmm. You know, and, 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 you know, he gets hit in his defense. He gets hit. He's like this. Put your, why you put your hands up <laughs> here? You got all this wide open. He don't want, and, and he don't want to fight the That's his, that's his last do you, do you think there could be any adjustments? I've heard counter arguments where it's like, well, he got Andy Ruiz down first, and then, you know, he made a couple mistakes, and then, you know, it cost him, you know. The mistake he made was he, he didn't hit him hard enough to keep him down. Mm. And when he got up, and so when he got up, he got hit, and he just, and he, has no, and he has no defense. What about um, people saying that he's potentially maybe slimmed down, maybe to counter Andy Ruiz's speed? Is that a possibility that he can, or is it just skill set Ruiz is just overall better at uh, in this style matchup? But, well, you know, even if he lose weight, it's not going to help him. Why is that? Is the, the skill set? The skill, I mean, you know. Ruiz got more skill than he does. I mean, he came in, and he's throwing punches, throwing punches, and, and, and Joshua he had no clue what to do. Hmm. He was hands up in the air like this, here, all this wide open. Don't you know if I hit you down, you're gonna bring your hands down? I'm not even now. I'm just inside the head. Hmm. And he's his hands went all like this here. He didn't have a clue what to do. So. Well, so then, if, if I would say then, if, if you're picking Ruiz and then 
miraculously uh, the fight happens between him and Deontay for an undisputed fight. You know, would that would that be Deontay's toughest fight? Would you Ruiz. say between he'll Ruiz? Stop Ruiz? He would stop Ruiz. It'll be easy. It'll be easy. Is, it, is it just because he's short, or is it? Well, I mean, he's he's, he's got he's got a hand speed, but can he take it? Joshua hit him, he fell. And Deontay hit him, he didn't get him up. Hmm. I want to ask you about the other big heavyweight title fight, Joshua and Ruiz. I think Anthony, I think Andy beats him easier this time. I think Andy Ruiz is one of the best fighters I've seen. He's got some of the fast hands since Mike Tyson. His hand speed, his boxing IQ, really was what made sets him apart. And uh, I think he beats him easier. Well, Ray, you've always said things like the, 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 a man is not supposed to fight past 30 usually that's and right, the, right. so is it possible that that warrior spirit that that allowed Andy to get up from the knockdown and swing like all hell is gone when you make the kind of money he's made no, and gonna no. make in the rematch no I know what you're saying yeah no he's hungry he's just as hungry now because he, he got that big fine he got that big payday you want to continue that payday those big paydays for your future that's just your financial security no you're going to be hungry for that not only you're hungry to prove that you're uh, a true heavyweight champion be the best heavyweight champion but the paydays will be there as long as you keep winning you get bigger and better paydays so that's an incentive now, it doesn't you know you get, once you know you'll know when it's time right now and he's is coming into his prime there's no, you know, Buster Douglas won yeah. the title in four months, but yeah. on 30 yeah. pounds and yeah. didn't, you well, know. We, but these guys are fighting, you know, they, they, they just fought, and, and, you know, it's only about seven, six, five, six months later. Right, so, right, right. You know, Andy went back in the gym. So, no, I think, no, it's a different type of guy, different type of guy. What would Joshua have to do differently at, at all to win a fight, though? You know, though? you got to, you got to keep your hands up and throw them straight punches and because okay, right. Joshua got good power. You dropped them once. If I dropped you, I know I can hurt you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to put the punches on you again. I'm gonna try to do it again. You know, and if I hit you with right shot, you're gonna go. Is it just a bad style matchup for Joshua? Because he, I, I think so. Andy kind of does what he does. Yes, you Andy, know, because his hand speed is the difference. Andy's hand speed is the difference in fighting. That's the biggest thing. For, I think because anybody fights, because his hand speed is really something. And he has in his boxing IQ, but he has pretty good. He's not a real big puncher, but he shoots three or four or five punches. Bah, 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 before you realize it. And that's what hurts guys, and that's what takes them out. Oh, we, Andy Ruiz has got a lot of heart, you know, and determination. I just hope he keeps the same way, you know, uh, not getting all this thing in, in, in his head. And just keep focusing. His whole life know? changed in 30 minutes. Whole life. No. Literally you know, 30 minutes. I, the fight, it was seven yeah. rounds. You're the man. 28 minutes. I just added. 21 minutes. Yeah, yeah, 20, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, when I started seeing the... Oh, yeah. When no, I well, him I'm adding the one minute that he had to break. <laughs> right, right, right. So, four. Yeah. When I saw him getting in, right. getting in, you know, and uh, smacking that jab off uh, Joshua, I said, oh, this could be a good fight. You know, and, and, and it, it happened, you know. But didn't he, he, he let his hands go. I think I've heard you say before, these fighters now, they, they fight too timid. But yeah. but what Andy yeah. did as soon as he, he got dropped. It. He didn't respect it all, Joshua, you know. And he got a little bit hungry after the knockdown, you know. You know, he's one of those fighters that I think that, that knockdown woke him up. You know, but, uh, but together. Joshua, 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 Joshua will win. It's a decisive fight for both of them in the, in, in the, in the aspect of this has to be Joshua's defining moment that he really is and was. And, and it's just a, a, a skip in his career, a, a little hiccup. But, and, Ru and Ruiz, for Ruiz, it's obviously, you know, he's got to prove that he's for real, legit, that it wasn't a skip. Uh, but he picks Joshua. How do you see uh, Ruiz Joshua 2 playing out? Um, okay. I believe Ruiz. I always thought Ruiz was a good fighter. But I think Joshua is the more talented fighter. He's the Olympic gold medalist. I think he's more talented. So I think, um, I think, uh, me personally, I think Joshua will win the fight. You know, you got top three, it's, it's top, the top four heavyweights right now. 
Not in the same order, but you got Fury, you got Joshua, you got Wilder. Wilder's number one right now for me. And Wilder and Fury is tied to number one. You know, but heavyweight division is crazy right now. How do you think uh, Joshua wins if he, if he pulls it off? Decision, knockout? I think he would. He knocked him down already. So Joshua know he could hurt him. Right. You, Andy Ruiz, if he's smart, he'd go across the ring and jump right on top of him. But if Joshua was smart, he'd keep his distance. Box him in circles for two rounds, then knock him on the third round. Because he can't, like, you got a guy with short arms. He can't get past his jab. Mm -hmm. Why not use your reach to your advantage? Mm -hmm. But we'll see what happens. How do you see the second fight going? Um, I think Anthony Joshua going to this, this next fight, I think he'll be more focused. Uh, I think he knows that, you know, the, the type of danger that Andy Ruiz, will, you know, is. And he'll go in there more focused, and he should get the win. Uh, I, I don't see the fight going 12 rounds. I think I think he should knock him out. If if he doesn't knock him out, I think Ruiz will knock him out. But this fight, I think he's much more focused, and um, he'll go in there and get the job done. Yeah, what do you think about Ruiz Joshua too, man? How does that play out? Ruiz and Anthony Joshua. Oh, oh, it's tough. It's tough. It's, it's really a, like a toss up. Uh, I know both of them hungry. Um, What's his name? The, uh, Ruiz? Yeah, he like, he come in, he was hungry and he seen what things changed for him. So I think he ain't, he ain't trying to lose it that quick. You know? What did you think of that fight? And what do you think about the rematch? I think that uh, Ruiz did some great things with Joshua. He kept him off balance. Joshua hit him, dropped him. He got up. And then he, he was throwing 10, 12, 15 punches at a clip. Joshua was never used to that. And in fact, I looked in the corner for Joshua. He was looking at his corner like, can you help me? No, you gotta fight now. And so, who knows? That's a great, a great question. Is, can Joshua recover from that and come back and have somebody in his corner that's gonna teach him? You mean mentally? Yeah, mentally. Right. And someone to teach him some different skills. Right. And, and listen, Ruiz knows what it feels like to become a champ now. He wants that. So he's gonna be a better fighter because of it. And that's what's gonna make the fight good. And plus, they're not going to London they're going to Saudi Arabia, where, where, where Joshua's not going feel like his home. It's not his hometown, it's away. So it's a 50-50 fight. And uh, I can't wait to see it. I'm on Sirius XM, 156 every Monday, every Friday, from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern time. And we talk about it all the time. Listen, the heavyweight, the heavyweight division is growing. They got a lot of beasts out there. Fury, Wilder, Joshua, uh, Ruiz, you got Joyce, you got Michael Hunter. Hunter, that's right. And you got a couple of kids from Africa, African kids. Oh, uh, a jog A jog is a yeah, beast. And, uh, and he's a young kid and he's got some skills. And another tough guy's got all knockouts. So I'm excited about the heavyweight division. It's been that on low for a while. The Klitschko's had nobody to fight. They're all cruiserweights. Right. And now we're coming back to guys are fighting again. So I'm excited. Who do you think is the number one heavyweight? The number one heavyweight, you know, it's between, I would say right now, between Wilder and Fury. Now, Ruiz, the tough guy, too. We gotta see what happens to him. I mean, I knew he was gonna test Joshua. I didn't think he was gonna beat him. But he did, he taught us all a lesson. Now, you mentioned his trainer, you know, being able to teach him how to get in there and- Make adjustments. And make adjustments for the rematch. That's what great fighters do. Lennox Lewis said the same thing, and uh, Joshua took it kind of hard. He called him a clown and everything. Do you agree with uh, him calling Lennox Lewis a clown? Do you think he should, should have gave him a pass? Listen. Or, you know, Listen, he told him something true. I, I I thought the same thing, like, he's not changing anybody in his corner. Bring somebody else in. Or, I, I was in London, I was doing a book signing. I came out with a book called Gentleman Jerry. I tried to get, to get a hold of him. I want to sit down and tell him, listen, you got to get another guy in that's going to teach you some different things to adapt to that guy. Don't let that guy punch so much. When you throw your stuff off, get a hold of him. Don't let him get all 10, 15, 20 punches in a flip. Because you can't take that. What about that muscle mass? He's a really big guy. You usually don't see boxers carry that much muscle. What do you, do he's you think so he's so athletic. He's so athletic, too. Right. And I think he did bulk up. I don't know what made him do that. Mm -hmm. I think he's supposed to be coming in a little more lean this time around. Right. Listen, he's going to try everything. But like I said, he's not in his hometown. He's in Saudi Arabia. So it's a 50 50 fight. And Ruiz is going to fight to keep that belt. Now we know how guys bulk up. How do you come down and still train 
and still be ready for a fight? How do you lose? You no, know, I don't know. Ass. Here's the deal. Like, I don't know. You can put on seven pounds of muscle a year. Joshua put on a lot of muscle, a lot of pounds of muscle. So hopefully he has a good training uh, regimen. They're going to teach him how to bring it down and stay strong and a little faster. Do you think the climate in the Middle East is that will be a design factor? As hell. But uh, hopefully there's going to be some type of fan. Well, they said in December it's almost like California. It's not going to be that bad. It's going to be like Listen, Chicago. you're the heavyweight champion in the world. You're fighting for the heavyweight champion. you got to be prepared. Go to Palm Springs. Go someplace where it's 120 degrees. And train. That's what I used to do. Do you think Ruiz has potential to be the Buster Douglas of this era? You know, he, he got that big win. Is he going to be able to Listen, hold on? He was undefeated. He lost to Park in a close fight. Right. For the championship. Yeah, absolutely. So he belongs there. I thought that maybe that Joshua would beat him. But I thought that I knew that Ruiz was going to test him. And he sure did. He got off the canvas and dropped him four times to stop him. We're going to have to see. Obviously, I think when you win the title, you become 30% better. Do you think wide. Joshua needed a, a soft touch before the rematch? Or you agree with him going straight towards that immediate you know rematch? What? It's, it, 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 I, don't, I don't think he should have taken his fight right away. Right. I think he should have got out and fought somebody. I'm not an easy touch, but another fighter. Right. If you trust yourself, go in with a good fighter. And uh, he didn't do that. He's taking this shot. Listen. I hope he's got somebody in this corner teaching him some new things. Prediction on it's that. A, it's a really good fight, a really intriguing fight. Um, what it's going to come down to is which guy handles their current situation better. How does Joshua handle losing the last fight? How does Ruiz handle winning the last fight? And it may seem like that's a, a weird thing to say, but you got to understand, Ruiz is in a situation where instead of 10 phone calls a, a day, he's getting 100. Instead of 10 media interviews, they're wanting him to do a thousand. Instead of, you know, uh, 25 people knowing who he is, every time he steps out of his house, he's got people. He can't go to a restaurant now. He can't walk down the street. He can't gas up without people coming up to him. These are things you have to learn to deal with. And and he, if he has successfully done that, then he'll be fine. But it can be a lot. Joshua has dealt with that. He understands that. He has never dealt with a loss like this before. So how does he come back? Is there self-doubt? Um, has he tried to change everything? Or is he keeping things the same? So it really just depends on who handles their current situation better. Do you think, do you think Joshua has a problem with uh, punch resistance, the ability to take a big shot? No, I, I, think, I think he takes a decent shot. Uh, um, these guys can punch. Uh, Andy's got very fast hands and very heavy hands. And, uh, and these guys can punch. Anthony's a, a very good athlete and a very good boxer. And he's, you know, he won the, the gold in the Olympics and won uh, a world title in, you know, in, in the pros. So he's he's a very, very capable boxer, and he's got good people, um, you know, that he works with uh, as far as his trainers and stuff goes. So it's uh, it, it's going to be a, an intriguing fight. And then the the X factor is the location. You know, who handles that better? It's a, you're in a totally different place. You know, is the food a little different, or the customs a little different, or the way they do things a little different? Who handles that? So there, there's a lot to it. Andy Ruiz is going to try and win that rematch next weekend against Joshua. Do you think he wins that fight? How's that fight uh, going? Yeah, everything, yeah, I mean, you know, he showed he has skills and, uh, you know, and uh, speed and he showed a lot of people what Andy Ruiz could do, you know, and uh, I feel like he could do it again. You know, it's not going to be an easy fight, but I, I will definitely can make it happen again. Just breaking it down though, how's he going to make it happen again? Let's say Joshua's sharper, you know, better. He has, to, he has to just overcome, overcome uh, uh, Anthony Joshua's reach and, uh, and maybe power the first couple rounds and then, uh, and then break him down in the middle of the fight and uh, do what he did the first fight, you know, close the distance and land two four punch combination. Oh man, um, it's, it's, it's hard to say if, it's, if he can repeat that. Um, it's, it's a totally different set of circumstances. Um, going to Saudi Arabia, that, that's going to play a whole big difference. And I think, um, I really think Anthony Joshua was going through something, you know, in Madison Square Garden that night because he went out there and he put um, Ruiz down very, very easily, you know, with a one-two, beat, beat, and it seemed like the fight was about to be over, and then he got caught with a shot out, you know, behind the ear and changed the momentum of everything. And uh, but I think this fight right here, I think he knows he has so much to lose. He has a tr his career to lose in this match, and I think he's going to definitely take it a whole lot more seriously. I think ever since the last fight, you've, um, I think he's taken it. 
more seriously and I think he can put in the hard work and I just think it's a fight that for me it's 50-50 right? you know or so quite you know he knocked him down then he came back and knocked him down so you just don't, I don't know how it's going to go but I think Joshua he was a great champion and I think he has a he gets his mind right and you know he can um, you know he can win but you know Ruiz is a hungry fighter he's the champion not defending the belt so I wouldn't pick anyone for that fight. I think it's 50-50. Well, Kevin was saying if AJ is going to win, he's going to have to make some adjustments. He can't oh, yeah. fight. Most definitely. Is he usually, from what you, is he at his best kind of, even though he's tall, is he at his best up close? Like, you know, uppercut hook, stuff like that? Or I think he's at his best when he's, you know, I think everyone's at his best when you, you know, you, you punch at the end of your, when you catch him at the end of your punch. I don't know. But he's got a good ability inside, but I think his strengths will be, Punch from the outside. That's my personal opinion. And I'm only asking that because it's is it possible that he just ran into a bad style? A, a guy who who likes to fight the way he oh, does. The but style, you know, it was always going to be Ruiz was one of those fighters that not a lot of people wanted to fight, and you know, a lot of people didn't really rate him, and because they haven't seen a lot of him. But he's a fighter which I've always said is a dangerous fighter and a fighter that's you know can cause. We thought we 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 knew that he could have caused the upset. We didn't know he was going to do it like that. But he's always going to be a dangerous fighter, and uh, with the drive that he has, and you know, he's he's fighting for his family and all of that, in Mexico, and that he's going to be a hard man to beat. Who who had the faster hands when you fought the two of them? Ruiz. Ruiz had. You know, I've always said Ruiz has very fast hands. After me. <laughs> hey, I mean, you showed it in that uh, listen, fight. We 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 uh, we both got very fast hands, and uh, like I said. You know, with his fight, I saw a lot of improvements. Oh, fast hands, but combination. So it just comes down to the, you know, the work that they've been doing in camp. And and what about punching power between? Oh, Ruiz's punch is hard. Harder think, than Joshua, though. I think the thing with Joshua, he didn't really catch me clean. He caught me a few times, but not as clean. Whereas Ruiz caught me really one, like really nice once. Mm -hmm. And I said, I said, I said it many times. He punches very hard. Who do you think would win that rematch when it happens? I mean, I'm I'm leaning to Ruiz. I mean. Everyone made up excuses for Joshua, but why'd you make excuses? He dropped him in the first round. He should have finished it, but he didn't. And then Ruiz got up and dropped him four times, so who's a better fighter? I, I hear you, but just, just to, you know, play, play the other side. You know, Lennox Lewis, another UK heavyweight champion. Maybe took Oliver McCall, maybe took Rockman lightly, came back, won the rematch. You see that scenario? You know? I'm, not, I'm, not saying, no, no, I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is this. People look at Ruiz's body and judge him as a fighter. He's a great fighter. He's not a good fighter. He's a great fighter. And basically, I, even when we did predictions, I picked him to beat Joshua. So I wasn't surprised. So I guess. I think that he's gonna win again. What do you uh, What do you think uh, if they did their rematch? Um, who would, would win? Would you think Ruiz would still have that opportunity to upset, or you think Anthony Joshua uh, change some stuff and come in and, uh, and favor him? Obviously, there's always gonna be the the uh, ability for Andy to to cause you know another upset, or it would even be an upset this time. But um, I really believe in Anthony Joshua's skill set and his ability and his team. I'm a huge Anthony Joshua fan. Uh, I, I have been for a long time. I think that he is an incredible athlete. So um, I, I would love to see him go back to work, build his confidence back up, get back out there and, 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 and come back and get the win and, and, and redeem himself. And a la Lennox Lewis versus Asim Rahman. But um, we'll see. You know, Andy. Andy is a is a is a great champion. He's a very very tough guy, and um, you know he's going to be bringing his law as well. So I guess we'll just see how uh, how how it plays out. Ruiz Joshua too, man. How does that play out? Oh, um, I don't know, man. It's going to be a good fight, man. It's going to be a good fight. I mean, I think now Joshua is 100 percent focused on what he got to do, and Ruiz is like, listen. I love this lifestyle. I love everything that's in front of me, and I'm not willing to give this up. You know what I mean? So that's going to make a very competitive, interesting fight. How does uh, AJ have to approach the rematch, you feel, to, to get the victory? This aggressive. Time? Aggressive. Because, you know, you're dealing with an aggressive, you know, an aggressive guy that's coming to you, and he has skills, fast hands. So you got to jump in there and, and show him who the boss is. You know, you, like, like now, this is the only time I would say bullying is like, it's, uh, it's, it's good now, you know what I'm saying? Joshua, be a bully, you know what I'm saying? You wanna win, be a bully. You know, if, if not, you know, hey, 
How does it feel to know that you got that kind of hand speed advantage over most opponents? Like for Andy Ruiz, it looks like that was a big problem for Joshua. How, do you, how does it feel to be able to have that kind of advantage over a fighter? And, and how does that work for you mentally, knowing that I'm faster than him? Um, I think that that's, that's like a good 70% confident things that goes into it you know the next thing is what a lot of guys worry about is well how hard do we hit like you know what i'm saying when, yeah. you start, when you start asking those questions you're messing up you know what i mean yeah. don't worry about that you know what i mean just go in there and do what you got to do you know what I'm saying? you're a big guy a heavyweight right yeah. joshua ruiz next week this is a really hard <laughs> question to answer. i'm gonna have to go with joshua i want to go with joshua i think joshua is an end of rematch for sure I, but i never Look past Ruiz in the first fight because I've been watching him fight for years. I knew he was a good fighter, but I was surprised that so many people overlooked him. But I'm I, I'm going to go with Joshua. I, I just like Joshua. I think he's he's still he's still young in this sport. And I think he's still learning. I think he picked up a lot in the last fight. I think he looked past Ruiz. I don't think he's going to do it this fight. I think he's still one of the number one the heavyweights in the world. And, uh, Joshua. And Dave, you got some people saying he, like Nonito was saying, he was saying he needs to, Joshua does, be a little more like Lennox Lewis, like Vlad Klitschko. Oh, sure. Do you see him doing that or just being same old Joshua and getting it done this no, time? No, no, no. I think he definitely needs to learn from his, his mistakes. I think every fighter does. But I think, again, I, I think that he looked past Ruiz a little bit in the first fight. I think he just got complacent of where he was at. And uh, But I, like I said, I think he's still young in the sport. I think he's still learning. I think he's a smart fighter. He's an athletic fighter. And uh, so still, I mean, those are a few of the reasons why we just go with him in the rematch. And, and like Joshua, I've obviously always been a very muscular guy. Yeah. Is it hard to have your cardio at the top level when, when you're a big, strong guy like that? I don't think so. Not so, the, not so much these days. I think maybe in the past, but I think, you know, conditioning has come a long way. Um, diet's come a long way. I think guys are smarter about where they are in their training. I think guys that are muscular are really steering away from... If guys are muscular, naturally, they're just muscular. It's right. just the way they're built. Right. But I think guys are steering away from, you know, the heavyweight training and stuff like that. So they're focusing on endurance and cardio and they're smart about the way they do it. Uh, Joshua, he's not a dumb guy. He's a smart fighter. And he's a, he's a conditioned fighter. So, I think, again, I think he's I think he's going to be the, the name and face of the heavyweight division in the future. What do you think about Ruiz, Joshua on Saturday, who you got? I got Joshua, man, you know. I think if his head's right and he's focused, I think he beats, he beats Andrew Ruiz, you know. But he's a great boxing, man. He's a great boxing. I think the first time when he lost, so, so what do I know? It was a great upset, you know, a great, great upset. Um, you know, having the first Mexican-American heavyweight champion in boxing history, obviously, it's great because, you know, he's, uh, he's Mexican. And... Uh, you know, that's something that gives a lot of people a lot to talk about. And uh, it's, a great, it, it's a great move for, for the sport of boxing. You know, now people are looking forward to the rematch. What's your, what's your outlook on the rematch? You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't take anything from, from, uh, from Andy Reese, And I know that from, from 100 people you asked, you think Andy Reese has a chance for the fight? Honestly, I didn't. You know, I don't like to be a hypocrite. I tell you how it is. Going into that fight, based on based on the uh, statistics, uh, Andy Ruiz was a replacement. You know, because the previous opponent for Anthony Joshua ended up positive for you know for PEDs. So bringing Andy Ruiz as a as a replacement, basically, I mean, a hundred percent of the time he's just an opponent. So honestly, when I saw that fight in in the making. I never gave Andy Reese a chance. I can tell you this right now. I see, I see a lot of people, you know, they say, oh, I knew he was going to win, and you I had a feeling he was going to win. That's just, honestly, to me, that's bullshit, just because he won now. I mean, I'm very happy that he won. I mean, it's it's impressive to see Andy Reese, you know, show his heart and, and determination to finish Anthony Joshua the way he did. Man, you know, uh, Andy Reese. You know, after the fight, like, man, you know, uh, much respect for Andy Reese, But from the beginning, I never thought he was going to win. And and now going into the rematch, I just, I think in the rematch, Anthony Joshua would win because now he has to make adjustments. He has to go back to, to, to camp and make adjustments. And the reason why is this. In boxing, every fighter steps up to the level of opposition. And I and in my opinion, I think that night, Anthony Joshua walked in against an Andy Reese thinking, man, you know, this is an easy fight for me. So mentally he wasn't ready for, for an Andy Reese that was hungry that night. And uh, I know that coming into the rematch, 
Anthony Joshua is coming in with a different mentality. This kid is dangerous. He's a big threat. Uh, now I have to prepare myself differently and come to the fight with a different mentality that this guy is very dangerous. That's what, that's how I see it. You know, I could be wrong, but that's my prediction. Wow, that's that's interesting. Uh, a lot of people are taking Ruiz in the rematch. How was he able to beat Joshua? He was quick on the inside, and obviously you feel that Joshua kind of overlooked him going into that fight. Well, I think Anthony Joshua overlooked him. He, re he really did. He went in there and dropped. Anthony Joshua dropped Andy Ruiz, and then that's when that's when Anthony Joshua himself said, man, you know, this guy is, is done. I already got him, and I'm going to finish him, and that's his worst mistake. He got in there, he got hit. And and a couple of things that uh, uh, Andy Reese did that night, he landed some great shots on the on the right spot that didn't let Anthony Joshua recover through the remaining of the fight. So that's what happened. So hopefully, you know, there it's a great fight. The next one, I wish Andy Reese the best. Honestly, to me, I mean, if he wins, you know, I'll be happy because he's 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 a Mexican American fighter. Uh, but take nothing from Anthony Joshua as well. He's a smart fighter. He's a he's a tall, very athletic, uh, athletic uh, uh, a fighter. But I I don't see I don't see the rematch. Andy Ruiz winning it, even though he has the confidence that he already went in there. Honestly, as on this on, this, on the rematch, I think Anthony, Andy Ruiz is gonna go in there, try to look for the same type of fight he went in the first time. And he's gonna run into problems. Ruiz and Joshua, do you think Ruiz brings those titles back Ooh, home? Or? Listen, that's a tough one. People say that it was a fluke, it was a cheap shot. Not cheap shot, but it was punch a, from the gods is the quote. Punch from the gods. <laughs> you know, no better way you could put it. But I don't I don't think it was. I think uh, Andy Ruiz definitely has a, a power in his hands. Definitely, you know, you can't take that fight away from him. Can he repeat history? Can we repeat that? It's going to be more difficult this time. It's not going to be any, as easy, but yes, it can. Do you think uh, the, the styles are favorable to him, though? Yes. The, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, Andy Reid's side, yes, no doubt. I think the one that needs more work and needs to really study this fight is Anthony Joshua, and I think he has been doing it. Uh, but it's going to be a more comfortable fight for Andy Reid and, and many reasons. And, and different areas, you know, mind, uh, mindset. I think Anthony's gonna have, you know, the punch. You know, you know. how does how does Joshua how does Joshua prepare for those uh, multiple punches combinations that Ruiz throws in the heavyweight division? You can't, you can't. They're, they're, the only way is facing the guy again. How do you face your fear? Go face your fear. So I think that he's too smart on doing that. Um, you know, people can say like, oh, you know, he got hit. Does he go in and, and, and spar with someone heavy and see, test his chin and see if he's got it? No, he's got it. Listen, I'm not talking down on Andy Reese, but consider this. Andy Reese went down on a perfect chin shot. Joshua went down on a shot on the temple. What does that do? It takes everything away from you. Mind, body, everything. You ask Anthony Joshua what happened, he said, I don't remember anything. Meaning that shot took everything. He's got a great chin, he can take a punch, but you know those punches are, are, are there, you know? He got hit right in the temple. Could it happen again? Yes, maybe. Would it happen? I don't know. Maybe he would put his hands up this time and make it a, a more difficult fight for, for Andy Reese. Let's not forget he was down before. So, uh, uh, you can stay behind that long one too. I'm saying it's difficult. <laughs> difficult, yes, it was. And it, that's what we thought in the first fight. Well, that's a one two. Andy's coming with four, five, and six. Exactly. That's what we thought in the first fight. Oh, you cannot get in that guard. It's, it's too, too long of a distance. Great fighter, uh, outside fighter. But hey, once he got in there, guess what he did? Damage. You put him down. Uh, talk to me about that rematch. How do you see that fight playing out? I think it's. Um, uh, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. As as Joshua, as Joshua got it, I love to see him win. Love to see him get the fight. Love to see him perform. But I just don't know. Was there enough? Was there enough in the first fight for you to even make a decision on the second fight from Joshua? No, because the weirdest thing is the weirdest thing is I remember seeing Ruiz fight. Didn't even know his name. And I always remembered looking at him and thinking, "Fuck it, now we can fight for a fat man." And I remember watching him on a card in uh, Texas, I'm sure it was, he knocked someone out clean, and I thought, fuck me, he's good. He could be a, he could be a danger for somebody. And then, I didn't really take notice of the build-up of him, because he was a late, he stepped in late, and I thought, who is this? When I, I didn't even watch the fight, 
Next day when I see he got beat, I didn't even know it was him. I looked at him and thought, fuck me, it's that. If I knew it was that fella who I seen, then that would have been a different story. Talk to me about <laughs> that fight. How do you see, do you see, do you see Joshua getting his belts back? Again, I hope he gets his belts back. Um, when that first fight got announced, or maybe I, see, I saw something other people didn't. I said, that's a mad fight. Why are you fighting this um, Ortiz? What's his name? Um, Ruiz. Ruiz, brother. Ruiz is a good fighter. He's short, fat, Mexican. He can fight. Do you get know what I'm saying? It's not... It's, huh? Oh, I'm doing an interview. I'm doing an interview. Please, thank you. Um, everyone, everyone saw Ortiz and said, oh, it's an easy fight for... Um, for Joshua, as a replacement for Miller. I thought Miller was the easier fight. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because of the styles. Um, Ruiz can fight. You know, he's a very relaxed fighter. He got hurt in that fight. Look how relaxed he was. He got up, carried on parrying, <laughs> and then come with his Tekken, <laughs> come with his Tekken, his Tekken combinations. And he's got fast hands. Can't, the second fight, again, it's risky, man. It's risky. It's one of them fights. I think Joshua can do it. Because he, again, he hurt him the first fight, and the only reason I feel like he lost the fight is because he got he got he wanted to get him out of there, and he made a mistake and got caught. But I feel like if he just boxes him, stays at range, catches him when he's meant to catch him, he can make it easy enough for himself. But Ruiz is not a pushover. I mean, yeah, Ruiz isn't it? Ruiz is not a push pushover. Um, but yeah, I'll go, I'll go with Joshua man because you know he's a he's a Brit. He's doing his thing. He's got a, he's got a big name in the sport. Um, so yeah, I'm going to support Joshua on this one. Any chance Ruiz no, going to be, I think you know? Ruiz, I think Ruiz won't be complacent. I think Ruiz won't give it 100% to so try to retain his time. So um, I think it's going to be a good fight. And I think um, they can put it in Saudi Arabia, more money for it, and it's good. Was there, when you knocked out Lennox Lewis to become champ, was there any complacency that set in, you know? It wasn't, it wasn't, um, yeah. I just probably just thought that, um, you know, if I hit him with the same person, the same thing will happen. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really, you know, I didn't make the necessary adjustments that, that I knew he was going to make. You know, I just saw he was going to be the same thing. So he made the adjustments. I you know, because I'm only asking because it, it's a question of is who's going to be the hungry fighter this time around. I mean, this time, so Joshua will make adjustments. Ruiz don't feel like he got to make adjustments. You know, that's why it should always be a third fight. Right now, right now. Okay, you got to adjust. I got to adjust. Now let's go. Both of us know everything about each other. Let's go. So, um, I think, uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, I think Rui's going to be ready for it. Did you see in that first fight that Joshua wasn't right mentally? Some people said that afterwards. I, I, I don't know how, I don't know how somebody saw it. You know, he's physically strong. Was he mentally all right when he dropped him? I mean, because he sure dropped him first. And if, he was, if he was mentally on state, he sure was in there. He was, he was straight enough to knock him down first. And most people he knocked down first. That's the beginning of the end. Right. I don't want to get hit. So, like, what's the mentality? He went on and crushed him. When he went and got down from that first knockout. He went and got up from that first knockout. When he had been mentally that stage. Mm -hmm. The problem is, he got up and he fought back hard. That's nothing to break anybody's mentality. What about his conditioning, though, Rock? He looked good. He always looked good. But he looked like he was tired by that third or fourth yeah, man, round. You start getting knocked down. You get knocked down a couple times. You be tired too. But is that because of all that weightlifting he does and all? You know, is he too? I mean, is he too big? I mean, he got knocked down against Klitschko. He was doing the same weightlifting. Right. Got back and finished the fight. So you can't blame it on the weight weightlifting when something goes wrong. When the same model has been so successful with you your whole career. Mm -hmm. So, so what adjustments do you think he makes in the? What, what's he gotta make for what he you? Gotta, he gotta move. He gotta box. He gotta use his height. He can't sit there and trade with the guy. You know, he's gotta move. He's gotta box. He gotta make it more difficult for for um, Ruiz to hit it. But if he don't do that. Probably gonna be the same result. Do you think he does pull that off? Makes the adjustments? I mean, we'll have to. 
don't have to. That's the only way to win. Wait, did you think highly of Joshua before that happened? Were you surprised? I didn't think highly of him. But I thought highly of Andy Ruiz also. Right. I spotted Andy Ruiz years ago. I knew it was tough, tough, tough. What do you think of that rematch? Um, do you think that Ruiz can do it again, or do you favor part? Um, do you favor Joshua? Well, I tell you what. Uh, yeah, hey, I think I think both guys have the ability to win in the rematch. Uh, you know, if Joshua um, turns up in the same condition as he did in the first fight, which I doubt he will, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's no reason why uh, a much more confident and fighters who win the world title are always 10 or 15 percent better in their next fight. Um, you know, a much more confident and determined Andy Ruiz could do could do the job on him again. But I honestly believe that you know. Great fighters uh, are fighters who who can make an adjustment, who can come back from uh, you know the worst losses of their career and turn it around and and beat the person that beat them. And you know I, I think Anthony Joshua is a, a smart guy. I think he's got a very good team around him. I think that he um, probably underestimated Andy a little bit in the first fight. Um, he won't underestimate him this time. Do you guys think it will be the same outcome or a different outcome? I think it's not the same outcome. I think it's a different 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 outcome. <laughs> no, 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 that's cool, it's all good. The thing is, man, listen, I'm a boxing, like, I'm a boxing fiend. So when I seen Andrew Ruiz win that title, that shit made me, like, smile on the inside. Like, I was, like, genuinely happy because like, I never met him a day in my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was genuinely happy. Especially when he told his mom, like, they ain't got to start, they ain't got to, they ain't got to, they ain't got to work no more. You know what I mean? He's going to take care of his mother. Like, that, that really touched me. With that being said, I think Anthony Joshua went into that fight like, Andrew Ruiz just gonna just lay down and do whatever he wanted him to do and just especially after he got him after he knocked him down, he walked back to the corner, all lax, put his hands in, like I'm about to finish this dude, like it ain't nothing. And he wasn't expecting Andrew Ruiz to get up fighting like that. And I think uh <laughs> Oh man, I don't even talk about that, you're gonna be run out of here. Um I think um I think a refocused Anthony Joshua he sees he lost some weight because uh, he's run out of gas a little bit. He's run out of gas too much and he's not catching the second win. Uh, I think a refocus Anthony Joshua. I think they put the fight in Saudi Arabia. I don't know about judges and you know what I'm saying. It just look it looked like Anthony Joshua gonna steal a decision. You know what I mean? But I'm I'm, I'm hoping everything is on the up and up with uh you know with uh with judging and you know hope everything is fair. But I'm just interested in the fight. I don't know who gonna win. If I had to bet my last dollar and I don't gamble, I was anti Joshua decision. Yeah. But I'm a fan of both fighters though. I just want to see a great fight. I'm a really, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Anthony Joshua too. He gets so much hate and criticism. I'm a fan of the whole heavyweight division. I like Tyson Fury. I like, I, I love Deontay Water. I love uh, Andy du Andy Ruiz. I love Joshua. You can be a fan of everybody. You can, you, ain't, you don't gotta like, oh, because you're a fan of Andy Joshua. I hate Deontay Wilder or vice versa. You can like all of them. I just want to see great fights. You know what I'm saying? So I like the whole equity division right now, and uh, I'm looking to see a good fight this weekend. Um, yeah, this is a 50-50 fight. You know, it's really, you know, on these fights when it's like this, it depends on the day. You know, it comes really down to because it's real defined. You know, it depends on the strategies and, and you know, the, the mentalities of, uh, of that day, you know what I'm saying, and who's going to implement it the most, you know, um, because they both have great uh, abilities and they're both capable of beating each other, you know, if you did, a, uh, they fought 10 times, you know, it would be a toss up. It's like rolling the dice every time, you know what I'm saying, is I don't, I don't think you'll be able to start to see which one is better, but I think as far as skill wise, I think Josh, I mean, uh, Ruiz is better skilled, but, uh, you know, um, Anthony has so much uh, athleticism, so much attributes uh, that go along with his skills, uh, and he's not, you know, he has skills as well, so uh, it just depends on his mindset and his mentality of that night. Well, you know what, uh, there's so many questions and answers to that fight. Um, 
Joshua was this, Joshua was that. I mean, you have to look at the fight for face value. Uh, if, if I'm going to be honest about it, 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 it seemed to be a style matchup nightmare for Joshua, a style matchup that he didn't anticipate. Uh, and he might have let his thoughts on Andy Ruiz's ability uh, wane just a little bit. And when he got caught, of course, he got caught in a vulnerable spot that he never quite recovered from the damage of it. Mm. But it's hard to say. You can only take his word for it. Who do you who do you think is going to? Ha- I mean, I know obviously Anthony Joshua lost the fight, Andy Ruiz won the fight. Um, but I think I think people kind of forget, or maybe it's not even important that it was actually Andy Ruiz that made the first mistake. Anthony Joshua put him on the canvas first. So having said that, does does Anthony Joshua have to make more changes as far as his game plan and his strategy, or, or, or does Andy Ruiz have to make the same, more, less changes? I mean, what does each guy kind of have to do? Well, I think it's kind of simple for Joshua. He has to fight at a range and a distance to minimize those effective attacks, those mid-range attacks that Andy Ruiz uh, was able to uh, bring into the fight. Mm -hmm. Um, Can't get overexcited. He has to be prepared to fight a round-after-round fight, staying steady, staying consistent. Um, He has to make sure that all the things that let him down in the first fight are fact intact. Number one is stamina. Number two is movement. Number three, uh, not, don't, not taking his eyes off punches mm. and getting hit with punches that he doesn't see. If you look at that fight, he got hit with a lot of shots he did not see. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's a defensive correction that needs there. Um, and he needs to fight. I saw somebody said he needs to fight tall and not short. I agree with that to a certain extent, but I don't agree with him fighting tall. I agree with him fighting long. Mm. So there's a difference between fighting long and fighting short. Um, He doesn't have to stoop down. He has to stretch out. Mm -hmm. And that gives Ruiz has to work. uh, That adds another foot or so to Ruiz being able to get to him. And if he knows how to use that lead hand to stop him from coming in, he can control that whole situation with his lead hand and use his follow-up punches at the right time. But the lead hand is the whole key, his legs and his lead hand. I would suggest to him that he shadow box every day, mm. six to eight rounds every day, moving, 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 until his legs are programmed, until he learns he's using the whole ring. And he has to be able to set a footwork pace on Ruiz that he didn't set before. He let Ruiz take the steps that he was comfortable with. Mm. So he has to be able to set a foot, uh, uh, a, 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 a footwork pace that would benefit him in the fight. To make Ruiz step quicker, move quicker, have to work harder to get in range, and to test his conditioning. So all those things, uh, I believe, play a factor in the fight. But do you think Ruiz wins the rematch against Joshua? 100% sure that Manny Robles and Edgar Castle are doing a great job with Andy Ruiz. I'm very, I'm, I'm very grateful for it with Manny Robles and Edgar Castle. I know their 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 work ethic and it's it's awesome. It's great. And him working with Andy is just a perfect combination. Styles. To, 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 yeah. just, they got a perfect style to be mm-hmm. Anthony Joshua, and, I, and I'm positive, and I got the faith that they're going to do it again, just because I know Andy, I know he's a very talented guy, i know known him for ever since I was 13 or 14 years old, he's a great fighter, for, for, for people who, who, who didn't know Andy, it was, a, it was a surprise when it'd be Anthony Joshua, for fighters and for his family who knew Andy, it wasn't that much of a surprise, and you can tell that because there was a lot of betting in there. If you bet it on Andy, it's because you know who he was. And that's one of the main reasons. And him working with Manny is just a perfect combination. That's why I know it's a perfect team to repeat history. And I got faith in him that he's going to do it again. It's an amazingly mental fight for Andy Joshua. And that's why you've seen a change in personality. Uh, the change in personality is like, I don't give a shit anymore. 
You know what I mean? That's what he's like, I don't give a shit. And like, any man can have it. Like, he's actually going back to, 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 to Femi now. That's who he's going back to, the real, like, that's what he's going to. Should he take a rematch straight away? Yes and no. And the reason why I say yes and no, if you believe that you can go into the fight not making the correct adjustments thinking that you're going to get a different result you're an idiot right if you think that you're still gonna and uh, you ain't gonna bring nothing nothing new to the game then you're an idiot now i pleaded with Andy joshua come i'll come sit down and watch bear fights with you right just to get you in that feel of fights or get a bag of boxing people around you to sit down with you when when you're watching fights so you're getting different opinions from guys who are, you know what I mean, come down to Miguel's gym. John Sims is a, 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 a wealth, a beacon of encyclopedic boxing knowledge. Sit down with these old time man there who can tell you little things. We're not telling you to replace Robert Kraken. We're telling you to improve your game because you can only go so far fighting like that. And you have won fights with your physical prowess, right? and your physical ability. That's how you won fights. You ain't won fights on your technical ability. So if you're not gonna make those changes and work on more, t and, it's, and obviously you're working with Rob McCracken, so what's he gonna do now? All of a sudden Rob McCracken's gonna magically change up the whole game plan? No, bring in other people. But I understand it's a business. Rob McCracken has to protect his interest. His interest, he gets a, a bag of money from AJ. He's been with AJ through thick and thin. AJ said my law is with Rob McCracken. Cool. But bring other man in there. I get phone calls every day from guys like um, Antonio Tarma, Tim Witherspoon, who who technically that's why Tim Witherspoon was he about 60 now. He still got all his faculties. Why? Because that man knew how to cover, tuck up, roll under shots. You know what I mean? Keep 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 the the that that right hand up, right? Because it was the left hook that started it, which was perpetuated firstly from Dylan White in their fight when they fought in 2015 so these are the things he's got to make these changes because Andy Josh could win this fight I believe that he's gonna win the fight but if you don't make any changes he's setting up for disaster down the road make those changes man how much better can Ruiz be we talk about Andy Josh and the changes he needs to make but did we actually see the best Ruiz or did Ruiz just no no because we never saw the best Ruiz you know what I mean and that's the truth we didn't see the best when he said did we see the best Ruiz we didn't see the best Ruiz he had five weeks notice Oh, but you're training for a fight? No, but you weren't training for the heavyweight championship of the world at Madison Square Gardens. No, we haven't. Uh, and to tell you the honest truth, if Ruiz hasn't made this go to his head, if Ruiz hasn't repeated what Buster Douglas did when Buster Douglas knew that after he beat Mike, Mike, after he beat Mike Tyson, after he beat Mike Tyson, he knew like, right, you know, I'm set now because I've got the Hollywood fight and I'm making like 20 million, right? So he was, and then that was unheard of money then, right? And so he was, he was, he was set, financially set. So he, he, he didn't care anymore. So, but if he cares, Ruiz going to give him problems again, brother, because Ruiz technically is far, is, is far technically better than Anthony Joshua. So it's going to be one of them ones. But I still see Andy Joshua winning this fight. Is the plan still to fight the Ruiz? Yeah, this opponent is also good. Also very good boxer. But I think I'm much better and I wait now the winner against uh, Joshua and Ruiz. Who's going to win I, that fight? Sorry? Who's going to win that fight, do you think? I don't know. When Ruiz is serious, pre prepare, maybe win second time. Okay. And yeah. that, that's the fight you want the most? I know you're the mandatory, but you prefer to fight the winner of that, either Ruiz or Joshua next after Booker? Yeah. Yeah, after Booker. So I'm concentration about this fight with Booker and that's it. After that, yeah. What are some of the learnings that Joshua could have when he fights Ruiz in the rematch? Well, I think, you know, you've got to look at strengths and weaknesses. And when you take a fighter like Joshua, you know, he's six foot six. He's a, he's a big, strong man. He can really box. He won a gold medal at the London Olympics. And yeah, I've got a lot of respect for Ruiz. I was there when he fought Joseph Parker and he's got incredibly quick hands uh, for a big, solid guy. Hand speed is phenomenal. I just can't understand why Anthony Joshua didn't continue to fight him from range because it was the same thing over in New Zealand when Joseph fought uh, Anthony Ruiz. He was beating him from range when he was boxing him, but when he started to try and trade with him, the hand speed of Ruiz was, was just so fast that I felt that Joseph was losing a lot of those exchanges. And the same thing here, I thought that Anthony Joshua was playing Russian roulette. I mean, why, why does he 
get in there and trade with a guy and lose his great advantage of height and reach and boxing ability by trading. And I think he didn't give Andy Ruiz enough respect. And Andy Ruiz is a great boxer. He looked at him and thought that he was um, an easy fight and he's anything but. But I think Anthony Joshua will learn a lot from this. I think you'll find next time when they fight, Joshua will box him from range. He'll Stay, get control. Keep he'll keep the distance. He'll box him long. He'll break him down strategically. And if he goes about it that way, then there may be an opportunity for a KO later in the fight. But I think he rushed the fight. He gave away his physical uh, advantage. He gave away his technical advantage. And he basically traded with him. And I think he fell into the trap. And I don't think he'll make that mistake no. again. And my prediction for the next fight is that Anthony Joshua wins it on points. I think it'll go the distance, but I think that Anthony Joshua will win it on points. That's my prediction. I think... Like, really break it down for yeah, me. I think it's going to be a little more complicated this time. I think Anthony's going to be boxing better, using a height and reach. He's not going to be exchanging like he did in the first fight. However, I still think that Andy is catching him, tagging him, and as the rounds go on, I think Andy uh, drops him, hurts him, might not get the knockout, but, you can't, you but still I, think. I still think he's going to win. I still think Andy wins. I think he drops him. I think he, 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 he can stop him. I, I, no, no doubt he can stop him. He already stopped him once. But I think the reason why he probably won't is because Anthony Josh is going to be boxing more effectively. Okay. But even doing so, I think Andy's still going to be the one to be winning the rounds. Just because he's putting pressure, landing the better shots, hurts him a couple times, stuns him a couple times, might even drop him, you know, and, and just, you know, win the rounds that way. I still think Andy wins. Andy, Andy's going to win. I, and I wouldn't be surprised if he knocks him out again. But you, you think know? more or less it's probably going to fall but on decision? I think he's going to, yeah, I think Andy's win by point. Josh is going to box. Just to not get involved in exchange, and that's what's gonna lead the fight to uh, uh, a difference. I, mean, I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope Andy knocks him out in fucking two rounds. I, I, I hope Andy fucking goes in and destroys him. But boxing wise, strategy wise, I think Anthony Joshua and his team have learned not to exchange, so that's why they're probably trying to box. Game plan is gonna be to stand the outside. Now that the rematch is gonna happen, what do you think about that fight? Uh. Honestly, I, <laughs> I think Ruiz wins, wins the rematch if it's on the even playing field. If it's on the even playing field, Ruiz wins the re rematch. If it's not on the even playing field, then it's a pick up. Then it's, then it's a toss. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my honest opinion. Here's the thing, though. When it's, when it's too heavyweights the way they punch, it's probably not going to go to the cards, right? So so how do you get home cooking if, if the judges are probably not going to the cards. It's a little deeper than the cards. I didn't even think it's scorecards. I'm not thinking scorecards are coming to play anyway. But in order for it to be, to me to get my honest opinion, if there's an even playing field and both these fighters are on even, even terms, Ruiz is gonna gonna beat Anthony Joshua. His, his his feet are faster. His hands are faster. He, it, it looks like he has a better boxing IQ. And uh, you know, Anthony Joshua failed to use his advantages. He failed to use his reach. He failed to use his height. He uh, he rushed. He, he, he behaved like an inexperienced uh, fighter, and um, you know, I I, I don't want to say that I wished it on him. I, 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 I you know wanted that to happen, but I called it I, 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 right here on Fight Hype. I called it, and um, like I said before, if they on the even playing field, Ruiz gonna beat Anthony Joshua. But um, you know, if it's if it's a little tilted, then I, I get a, I give it a 50-50 shot. But well, you talk about you know reach and experience. Ain't them things that could be adjusted for a rematch for AJ? I mean, I don't think that I, don't, I just don't think he's gonna be. I don't think that. Uh, um, mentally, he's he's just he's just. I don't know about him. The way that he re reacted after he lost his title was uh, did it mean did it mean anything to you? Did it mean that much to you? I mean, I would be devastated. I would be absolutely destroyed. But that's, you know, he's not me and everybody doesn't react the same, but you know, somebody that, I love boxing. I, I love it to my core. And um, to lose, not only just to lose, but to lose like that, in that fashion, like you just, you just really basically just gave up. And you, you, don't, you didn't only give up on yourself, you gave up on your country, you gave up on all your fans, like you gave up on the world, you represent the world when you were in there. So it's, it's go out on your shield. I watched my father's fight through a, 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 a gargoyle on his head. I, mean, holy so I, don't, I don't hear nothing about nobody quitting. That's not how. That's not how I was taught. That's not what I was. 
you know, I was shown to, to, to do or, you know, he tapped out. He tapped out once and, and, and you know, nine times out of ten, he gonna tap out again. You gonna turn around and fight the same guy that just made you quit? It's not a good idea. I wouldn't I would have tried to get the titles back some other way or took some more fights or did something, but I don't think he, I think that, you know, Ruiz will win the rematch if it's on the even playing field. And um, if not, we'll see about a third fight. We can get a third fight on the even playing field. Might turn into a four fight. You never know. And who are you picking in the next week, Joshua Ruiz, and why? Oh, um, I like them both, but I, I think I, I, I've noticed all the preparation that Joshua has done. You know, take some of that muscle mass off because you know he's having trouble with stamina, and all that muscle was killing him. It's making it making hard for his muscles to breathe. All that all that bulk. Right. And um, a lot of you know a lot of top trainers don't agree with Andy slipping down some. Plus, you know, Josh was looking at that, that big right hand, but I, I, like same thing with me. Once you win that belt, you, you gain like a fifty percent more. You know, you get better and, and, and more confident moves in. Right now, we're really on top of the world, but I just have a feeling that Joshua just making it to his belt back mm. by knockout. More likely, he's going to knock him out because. Andy Ruiz to me is, is the better boxer. Yeah. He, he's faster. He, um, he has a great trainer. Um, Manny Robles who helped me get to the Olympics. And uh, you know, Andy had uh, to me a more a more weak. He, he he's more grounded and, we, and, we, and he knows his identity. Joshua right now he's been building and so guys look at that street, but like the man thing, Josh about to win by a knockout, but it's going to this I can see Andy out boxing. Yeah, because like you said, identity, they're trying to tell Joshua fight with the jab, do do things that didn't get him exactly. to the title. Right. Exactly. So you look at there you go, you look at all of that. Uh, we followed every single one of Anthony Joshua's fights since he turned pro. This is arguably the most exciting uh, and most uh, interesting fight. The rematch with Andy Ruiz. Can he exact revenge? Will Ruiz do it again? So, um, you know, we've uh, we've got to uh, go over there. It's a logistical, difficult operation. Um, you know, I've had to make sure that every one of my my staff is happy. Uh, everyone is 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 on board, and everyone is ready for the challenge. Um, it is uh, going to be at nine o'clock at night. So UK fans will have that opportunity to see, you know, AJ Ruiz at a, at a good hour, not at two, three, four in the morning, as what happens in America. Um, so it's not Cardiff with a hundred thousand, you know, British fans, but it is something different. Um, but then again, it's a huge sporting event. I think the world's going to want to watch. The world's going to want to see what happens as a curiosity factor. Yes, there's some uh, difficulties with Saudi Arabia, of course, over the years. We know that. But this is a sporting event. This is what we're concentrating on, and we want to deliver the best uh, we can possibly in terms of broadcast to uh, our subscribers, to our fans. And uh, it's a fascinating fight. Um, Johnny Nelson says he's 1,000% sure that Anthony Joshua beats Andy Ruiz Jr. I had to remind him that there's only 100%, but uh, I wouldn't be 100% sure of, of AJ as much as uh, we followed him and he's an ambassador for Sky and uh, it'd be wonderful if he gets through this and, and uh, you know, reclaims all the world heavyweight titles and he's probably the favourite and if he boxes to his ability he can probably right the wrong, but it's an immediate rematch. Andy Ruiz looks in great shape. He's got the quick hands and he might have the style to do it all over again. So it's a fascinating one and we can't wait. Where are you at on that? What do you think wins the rematch? Well, it's a little close, a little early for me, but I think it's going to be a great fight. I mean, Ruiz showed up. We're going to see if Josh was going to be in better shape for this fight. I mean, we, I really like to get closer to the fight, to be honest with you, so I can make a decision on, you know what I'm saying, who I'm going to go with. But I want to get close to the fight, look at the odds of the fighters, look at the body of the fighter, and I know who is serious, who really put it in. You feel me? Now, if you were if you were Ruiz coming off, coming off a win the way he won in such dominant fashion, I mean, going into the fight, what would you be, would you feel confident would you feel like keeping things the same way would you be trying to adjust your strategy based on what you think josh was going to do yeah what do you do with your wings i'm doing all, all what you just said i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna see if it, I, i'm gonna look at him from a standpoint where i've already just made a decision i see that josh was looking like he's losing weight right so what i'm thinking is what i'm thinking is he gonna move a lot so i'm gonna be on my toes ready to stalk him <laughs> Let's go, champ. Because if, if I'm Ruiz, if, I, if I'm if I'm um, from Joshua, I'm gonna be keeping that jab on the distance. But I just can't do that. I gotta be able to do this. Move side to side, side to side. You know what I mean? Use that. I gotta be able to use that ring and keep him off and keep him out there. But you gotta beat the champion. You know what I'm saying? So now Ruiz is champion. So how do you beat a man by backing up boxing? Do you think that's tough? 
like the people say that based on Joshua's build, uh, his, his musculature, that having that kind of build, he might not be able to get out of the way, that Ruiz will jump in too quick, his hands are too quick. Do you think he would have to do something, maybe trim down a little bit in this fight? Or? I, that's, what I, that's what I think he's already doing, to be honest with you. I think he's already doing that, and I think that um, that's what's happening, you know? Do you feel that Anthony Joshua can win that fight? On he can do because, you know, we don't know the circumstances of the first fight. We were all these things, what were going off, and maybe that's right, maybe it's not wrong. But the psycholo psychological effect of getting knocked out was always going to be in your mind. So, you know, he's got to overcome that obstacle as Ruiz lived the life, you know, since winning, has he been partying, what's he been doing? So, you know, maybe that was his biggest, his biggest win. Um, you know, and that's what he's happy with. You know, maybe Joshua isn't, can't live with that, and he's he's pulled himself out and and pulled out all the stops. You don't really know if Ruiz does everything he can possibly do to his best of his ability, and Anthony Joshua does everything he can do to his best of his ability. Then Anthony Joshua should should win the fight. But if either one of them have took that off the ball or not, you know, done what they're supposed to do, you know. Once Ruiz starts clipping him a few times, it's going to be, you know, in his favour. And, you know, Joshua's going to have to exercise those ghosts. And it's an hard place to, to be doing that in the middle of a ring. You've already been back, knocked out by somebody. There's very few fighters who turn it around and go the other way. You know, don't forget, Joshua had him down first. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, he made the mistake of running in, um, you know, a bit hastily and got clipped. Whereas a, a more experienced fighter would have probably stood back a bit and bided his time and picked his shots and got him again. And maybe that's where it was. Maybe just the fact of him getting a bit carried away. Maybe because he had these problems before the fight. He thought, I've got to finish this kid quick. People do it. They do do it. I've had fighters do it myself. And as you're running in to you know, put the, the nail in the coffin, you get clipped and that's it. It's all over. So you have to be very careful. So, you know, we don't know what the background was for the previous fight. But what we do know is that we never thought that Ruiz would beat Anthony Joshua. Joshua and Ruiz, who's going to win and why? Well, if, if Joshua learned from the first fight, he should fight with distance, you know? Similar to Klitschko, similar to like Lewis, you know, where, where they're playing with distance right hand. And if he can do that, it'll be a very tough night for, uh, for Ruiz. But being a Mexican, Ruiz is a tough guy. He can dish it out, he can get up, and he's going to give it out there. And I think that... Uh, just pressing on, pressing on, and pressing on like he did the first fight and just overwhelm uh, Joshua. And I think that, um, and I think it's a competitive fight. And you know, you, you said Joshua needs to kind of do what Vlad Klitschko did and yeah. Lennox, but he's never fought like that. Can he, can he fight like that in the rematch successfully? Well, I, I think he was trying to kind of paw the jab and I think he, they might want to try to do that. But if he fights the same way, like he fought the first time where he's very vulnerable when Ruiz can get in there, uh, get him with the body, get him with the, with the, with the headshots. It'll be too dangerous, I think, personally. And that'll be a Ruiz fight. What if Joshua says, I I'm just going to do what I did against Klitschko? Y you know, just be a little more hungry this time. Is that going to be enough? Or? I don't think it's enough because if he fights in that same way, Ruiz can get inside. Right, right. You know, I mean, he did land those big punch on Ruiz and, and, and Ruiz took it. You know, uh, I think he'll be able to do that again. <laughs> um, you never know, but I mean, it depends if Ruiz is, is high on success or if, if Joshua is very, very hungry, that he's willing to change his style, you know? That's what we got to find out. I think it's an incredible fight. But you know, everyone's talking about Joshua's head. Where is his head at? Is he psychologically broken? It, you've, you've been kind of, you know, there. Not, not broken, that's for sure. But you've been... <laughs> You've been down and out, some right. would say, and, well, and I mean, came I've back. Been, I've, been, I've been down. Um, it depends on the personality of a person. Right. If he's willing to, to move on from there, then, then he has a way to kind of rebuild himself. But if he's the type of person that just kind of goes back into it, kind of goes back into it, he'll just drown in that sorrow. But this, because you were saying immediately, not, not just once the success came again, you knocked out Ryan Burnett, you were saying then, when, when people were counting you out, yeah. I still have it, I, and you're not hearing that from Joshua, like, like we did from you when it was, is well, that that's, what you're that's, saying? That's, that's something that we will find out, right, with, right. with Joshua. I mean, my personality is, what you see is what you get. With Joshua, he's the kind of guy that might be quiet, and you just want to show him. You never know, you know, so... That's why it's interesting to see because there's a lot of them that dynamic that can change this fight dramatically.
But to wrap it up, you got Ruiz, is that right? Or? I, I, I give my, my, my nod to Ruiz uh, because he's just tenacious, he's, he's very tough and and he has the edge in terms of, of what he has done. Will that play against uh, Joshua in his mind? You know, that's the question that, that, that um, imposes inside that ring. The moment that, that he lands those punches, and the moment that he overwhelms or or pressures them, you know, and, and that's a question. And he has that advantage. So I, I'll go for, for that. But I, I've always I've always thought Ruiz is is like, a fighter who has a lot of ability. Mm -hmm. can, hey, what round? Or or you think it goes twelve? Or? You know. To end this contest with official time. man, I don't sometimes it doesn't you know, a lot of the time it doesn't go, especially if you get uh, a rivalry like this. I think it's gonna be a knockout, it doesn't matter who <laughs> because both of them have the capability to knock each other out. What do you think of um, a division like today they just announced um, Andy Ruiz and Joshua are fighting again yeah. for seven Saudi Arabia? Yeah. What do you yeah. think about that? Man, I think it's fantastic. I think Ruiz is gonna win it again uh, because Styles make fights. And I just think that everything that he's bringing to the table is, is everything that, that a guy like, like um, um, Joshua doesn't want. He doesn't need to have a guy that, that, that's short and stubby and that, that likes to bang. It ain't that he's short and stubby, he's just compared to the new the new standards of the heavyweight division, everybody's 6'7", but just to see a guy his height Bringing, bringing some true boxing skills. He's throwing combinations, something that you don't really see anymore in boxing. Period. In any weight division, other than twos and threes, but you don't see five, six, seven, eight. Like he runs his, his hands and he's having the heavyweight. It's a beautiful thing. Great time for the heavyweight division when everybody was giving up on the heavyweight division. You know, a lot of people didn't like the Vladimir Klitschko's reign. Not to say him as a fighter, but his reign because every fight was pretty much the same. Box, 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 I got him hurt. Okay, let me jump on him now. People like to see two people that's willing to go out and go at it from the go. And that's what makes an American fighter an American fighter is the fact that we like to scrap. We get it in. So I like to see the division is, is returning back to the day of its glory when guys are now coming out there saying, look, I may not be the tallest. I may not be the fastest. I may not even be the hardest punching, but guess what? I'm coming to get that title. People coming to get the title now. They're not fighting for the title. They're coming to get the title. And it makes a big difference in the mentality of the fighters. Hey, what does Joshua have to do different in a rematch to get a win? Joshua has to lean out his weight. He got to be more flexible. He, he has to be more fluent. He's got to, he's got to, I think he probably needs to switch trainers. Um, he did not use his 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 height his reach he didn't use his strengths he decided he was going to fight a guy based upon his past success which is i'm a big guy with muscles and i can punch he don't understand the mentality of the of the average hispanic fighter they talk they can take punches you'll never really meet a hispanic fighter that don't have a good chin and if he gets knocked down he's gonna get up and fight again that's what makes the timing so perfect for a guy like Andy Ruiz to come into the division. Being the first uh, Mexican uh, heavyweight champion is, is, is wonderful, man. In, in a time where we got all the diversity, where now you got European heavyweights competing with the, used to be only the Americans had the world heavyweight title, and now anybody can have the title. So I just really believe that it's the great time couldn't have a better time, especially with all the political things going on with a president that clearly does not like minorities. You know what I'm saying? And and so to have a Mexican world heavyweight champion is incredible, and I love it. I hope that he goes far. Do you think AJ will lose uh, again next month, or he'll get the titles back? I think I think he'll make the adjustments. I think he was taking them lightly, you know, the last fight. I think he'll go in there and make the adjustments and uh, and uh, get the win. What? what I, Excuse me. I definitely think that it's going to be a knockout. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I figure it's going to be AJ, but I know it's not going 12 for sure. What what adjustments, though? Because people think AJ's a little too stiff to, to stop fighting kind of straight up. What adjustments could AJ make, though, that you think he could do? Go to the body. Use his jab. Go to the body. You know, try to break Andy down first instead of, instead of going in there fighting fire with fire. Andy, Andy has a chin. Andy has heart. He showed that he can get up off the canvas and, and go back in there and fight, even though Joshua did drop him early. Um, but, but why, why fight fire with fire if you don't have to? That's always been his style, Anthony Joshua. 
But as 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 he started getting going up there and in bigger fights, he started to use his jab. He started to box more, like against uh, Pavekian, Pavekian, and mm -hmm. the other guy, uh, Joseph Parker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, Parker was a little hesitant himself, but he wasn't fighting like Andy Ruiz trying to. Parker look. beat Parker beat Randy Ruiz. Though. True. So I was making fights. AJ versus Ruiz rematch. I just want to throw this at you because. Uh, Everyone's saying AJ has to make adjustments. Do you think he really has the ability to uh, against Ruiz? Well, you know, he ended up losing the first fight because he, he had hurt Ruiz, knocked him down, and then he uh, went very aggressively and got countered and got hurt. So he, the mission here in this fight is probably to use his height reach, use his jab more, and still land the power punch when it's there, but not push the envelope. Uh, and so that would represent a slight change in the style that we saw. Uh, and um, is he capable of doing that? He's probably capable of it. The question is, will Andy Ruiz cooperate with him and allow that to happen? Uh, and did Andy Ruiz overperform and Joshua underperform? Uh, we know Andy Ruiz is a good fighter, um, so it wasn't some absurd, crazy uh, fluke, but, um, but there's no question that Joshua probably underperformed a little bit. The question is how much can he get better? Is it fair to say, though, Al, that Joshua was beaten in his own wheelhouse, at his own game? Because I know he's 6'6", but he, I don't know if he's ever been an outside fighter, right? I mean, he's usually a guy who that works for him exploding well, he's, up. Well, he's a mid-range fighter. Right. You know, he's a, he's a fighter that... He's in a pocket, uses all, I mean, he, he is a, you know, he d uses his jab, he uses those kinds of weapons and the straight right hand and whatever, but needs often to be close enough to throw that left hook, the kind that he knocked down uh, Ruiz with, and that uppercut is a great punch. So, yeah, can he fight at enough range where he's not going to get hit with something? And, um, and you know, People have pointed out that Anthony Joshua has been uh, stunned or hurt or down in a number of fights. Right. So there's a question whether he can sustain through it. Um, it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. And I think I wouldn't. I don't think anybody watching it would be surprised if it went either way. And then lastly, Al, you know, we never know how these things shake out. You you could be calling a, a pay per view fight on Fight Night with that one, but let's just assume. You got no obligations to the fight. Who do you pick? Who do you lean towards as we're, we're months out from what's going to be the rematch? It's pretty early to make a prediction. I know, because I, know. Um, I would probably abstain on the prediction, but I would say unless it, the onus is on Anthony Joshua to perform better. Because it's possible Andrew Ruiz will be a bit better. You know, it's possible he will fight but even a better fight. So, um, I don't know, it's hard to make a prediction this early because we haven't seen how they prepared and everything. Do you think Joshua, there's any kind of mental hunger, you know, Joshua has to fight again? Did he not look uh, the same kind of guy against Ruiz that he was that got up off the canvas for his Klitschko? Well, it ended up that he wasn't because he didn't, you know, he couldn't sustain it through. Right. And uh, wasn't, you know, and even the way the fight ended with his hands on the ropes and not going back out. I, I'm not criticizing him for it. I'm just saying that was a posture that, you know, kind of indicated that he had had enough, you know. And it's just a little odd that he didn't want to run it right back in the garden. It, just because we just saw Shane Mosley, who went right back to the scene of the crime with right. Vernon Forrest and Winky Wright. Yeah, but, well, and that's another big story about this fight, the location, which is fascinating on a million different levels, um, both in terms, terms of the boxing and the bigger picture. Politics and all yeah, that. Everything. Yeah, everything. How serious does Andy Ruiz take this fight now? Because he's a multi-millionaire overnight. I mean, we, I mean I'm, I'm, not, I'm not around him to understand how serious he takes it, but I'm quite sure he's not taking it lightly. Um, you know, he, he he's he, he's probably just doing what he's what he's used to doing. Um, it got him to this point. You know, it got him. You know, through his career, the way you know way it was. I don't think he might. I don't think he might want to change anything. He might want to up some things up, but he might not want to. You know, remove any things. You know, so I can't really tell exactly. You know where he is, but I'm quite sure Joshua was way more focused. Um, you know, Joshua is like, wow, like I got to get this back. And you know, Joshua was like. Mm. Jasmine was a cool dude, you know, um, and and I'm sure, quite sure, he's going to see to it that 
you know, that he get what he get, he, he get what he deserves and he gets his belts back. But so, what about from a psychological perspective? Uh -huh. There were a lot of rumors that he wasn't well, but we don't know that. Uh -huh. AJ says he was fine. But going to a rematch uh -huh. straight away, it doesn't happen very often you go in a rematch and you're successful. Uh -huh. But when he goes in that rematch, and let's say Andy Ruiz hits him once, does uh -huh. that psychologically affect the fight? Um, psychologically. Did you start thinking about the first fight? For, for, no, for, but yeah, I mean, it could. It's possible, very possible, maybe maybe more highly possible than, le than less likely. But, you know, uh, that all depends on the type of fighter, the you know, type of mentality, the strength of your focus. You know, um, a very focused fighter is, you know, it's a fighter that's, that's very hard to beat mentally, you know. Um, and then, you know, it's fighting. So, you know, you, you, you already seen the worst. So, therefore, you know, when the worst, when, it, when, when the worst comes up at that point again, you know, it's like it's nothing that you haven't seen before. So, it's just like, okay, I know what to do now. So depending on the strength and the amount of focus that he's put into this training camp, put into the laws, put into getting it back, put into all of these things, that would be the difference. And um, a person like Joshua, he seems to be a very focused individual, he seems to be a very disciplined individual, and I'm quite sure that, you know, that wouldn't be the case of, you know, him crumbling and falling back once once those type of things um, reoccur. You know, um, and I'm, I'm, you know, it's a game plan. You know, it's just, this, this is what champions do at the same time, and we also gotta understand you know, it's 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 fighting. It's a sport. You know, and some 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 situations you have to revisit a hundred times, and maybe that hundred and one time you'd be like, I'm not gonna let this happen now one more time. So you know, um, it might not have to happen twice for for, for Joshua. You know, um, it may have only happened once, and that was in a previous fight. So, but we never know. Can't think for other fighters. I know I can think. For the, you know, I can speak for myself. You know, psychologically on a widespread, but um, who knows what's going on inside of their heads. And um, I mean, I'm 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 really looking forward to seeing the fight. I'm really looking forward to supporting the fight. Um, yeah, and it's, it's going to be a great it's going to be a great fight. If Joshua would happen to get that rematch, finalized and set, who would you pick in that fight, and why? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a prediction of um, Joshua. I think he's gonna right his wrongs, and uh, it's gonna be a different environment that he fights in. So I think he's gonna be the big one. Um, Andy sucks. He comes to fight, but I think it's gonna be a different. The hunger is gonna present itself, and Joshua is gonna show why he was heavyweight champion as long as he was. Joshua Ruiz, what? Who do you think wins that rematch, and why? Um, I think. Well, if it was a bad man, what I would say is it's not going 12 rounds. I don't believe it's going 12 rounds. Um, I think that... I'm picking Josh in this one. I'm, I picked him in the first one. I was convinced he was going to win the first fight, like I think a lot of people were. Um, but I've seen him in fight week in New York, and I was speaking to him, and he had a he had a stag in his eye, which normally indicates someone's been a bit run down. Mm -hmm. And looking at his performance and him in the corner, you could definitely tell that something wasn't right. Um, I think I fully fit Joshua will win the fight, but he's gonna have demons there from the last one. And, um, mentally, he's gonna have to be very, very strong. I think, but I, I, I'm picking Joshua. Would not surprise me if Andy Reid KO's him again. But would surprise me if the fight goes a distance. So. With, with Joshua, is it the, if he wins, do you think it's going to be a case of he, he's just back to being the guy he was against Klitschko, or or he's going to show us new things that we haven't seen before? Well, jab, new, you know, jabbing and moving. He's got a new and, trainer in, um, who's looking like he's you know he's punching more in combinations, trying to block shots. He's lost a lot more weight as well. Maybe the tactic is going to move a little bit more in this fight. Um, but there's always going to be the questions because he lost to Andy Reid, um, no matter what happens in this fight. Um, and, and if he beats Andy Reid again, there's still a debate as to who's, no one knows yet who the number one guy in the, in the heavyweight division is. I think hopefully 2020 we'll find out, we'll have a, a unified, undisputed heavyweight champion. But yeah, he's still. I, th I don't. Whereas people seen him before the Reese fight as the number one guy, and I, I don't think I don't think we'll see him as the number one anymore, even if he's not Reese. Did Joshua recover? Could he win the rematch, or do you think mentally? No, he definitely will recover. You know, I know him. Uh, he's a champ at the end of the day. Maybe uh, he did a mistake. He lost his fight. 
every, everybody trying to say that uh, Joshua lost the fight, but I want to say that Ruiz won, and uh, that's totally different. Joshua will will work hard, and uh, he will want to have his belt back in uh, in the UK. So you have to watch it. We were watching the fight when they had the three national anthems. You know, it's taking a while. I saw Ruiz in the ring, nice sweat. Joshua looked dry as a bone. It, lo it didn't look right. Did you notice anything? Like it wasn't right with Joshua when the fight started, or did it look the same as always? You know, if if he knocks um, Ruiz out, nobody will exactly, yeah. nobody will like uh, talk about. Uh, anything so now we lost so we're trying to like figure it out what was right what was wrong yeah. he just lose okay he just lost and he just needs to work hard and come back um, who do you favor going into the Andrew Ruiz and Anthony Joshua rematch I would favor Ruiz uh, but acknowledging that Joshua has had six months to, to sit and stew to, on it right to, to you know, to rearm, and uh, because I think he got shot, not not just because he did probably never heard of Ruiz a month before the fight. He was a late substitute. He was plainly out of shape, even for Shelby, a guy who yeah. normally fights out of shape. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'll be curious to see it, and uh, I wouldn't be shocked if Joshua won, but. Uh, Ruiz is a hard kind of guy to beat. Ruiz fights Joshua again. What are we going to see? Well, you know what? I, I can't tell you. But I was with Ruiz the last fight. Mm -hmm. um, I think Anthony Joshua uh, is going to come with his all-out assault. He's going to try to you know, do what he do. Um, when I seen uh, Joshua, when he got in the ring to me, I didn't see a Joshua that I normally see in regular fights. I didn't see him have no sweat on him. I didn't see him warmed mm -hmm. up. And he looked like a deer in headlights. But that takes nothing away from Anthony Ruiz. And I told people this guy can fight. And you know, when, when you got guys in here that are breaking records, like he's the first, what, Mexican heavyweight champion? Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean that's, that's, that's major, that's major. And do you favor him in the rematch, um, Ruiz, being I, that he's already beat him course. once? Of course, I'm gonna go with Ruiz because he beat him before. And also, you know, w once you get that spotlight and you get that, that uh, where people went from not picking your bags up to picking your bags up. <laughs> When you get from people saying, oh, that fat boy box too, oh, he's a good fighter, you like that. You love that. Mm -hmm. So he's going to work that harder. And uh, uh, what we was talking about, man, the guys in the gym was just talking is how he just bought his mom a house and he won a house. He likes that. Yep. So it's going to be a tough fight. Do you think he can get them belt spike against Andy Ruiz in the rematch? See, because I'm proud of being English, I'm supporting him all the way. I don't care. He's uh, He represents what I represent. He represents me. He helps me grow in what I'm doing. I support him, like, through thick and thin. I don't care if he wins, he loses, draws, whatever it is. That's my boy. I'm supporting him. Wait, what's your outlook on uh, on, on this rematch between uh, your boy Andy and, and Anthony Joshua? Um... It's a good fight, man. I can't wait to see it. You know what I mean? Um, it's heavyweight boxing. I don't. I don't like to predict anything. Yeah. May the best man win. But I'm. I'm also going for my boy Andy. You know what I mean? Like, that's my. That's my guy. So, personally, I'll, I'll be. I'll be going for Andy. Did you ever think that uh, people would say Anthony Joshua would have to stay on the outside, use his jab, and stay on his bike? He's always been a guy who out muscles people. In this scenario, people are saying he needs to, to be on his bike. Isn't that crazy how, how the, the roles have turned? Yeah, I mean, styles make fights, you know, so he has to stick to whatever's going to be um, beneficial to him, you know what I mean? Because, you know, everything's different. You know, you can't you can't muscle around everybody, you know? So he got to um, do what's best for him, man. And Andy's got to close the distance, and he's a master at doing that. We know that Anthony Joshua's had conditioning issues throughout his career. Do you see this fight going 12? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't I don't think no heavyweight. When's the last time you've seen a big heavyweight fight go to distance? Well, Tyson Fury and, and Wilder, but, I mean, he really didn't be, beat the count. If you if you look at it, he, they kind of let him get up, and he kind of didn't, didn't – he kind of – it was over. The fight was over. Yeah, yeah, they did. The fight was over. And uh, I don't know, were you talking about the Wilder Ortiz fight? You don't think that fight's going past six? Yeah, I mean, heavyweight boxing, man. It, it don't, it don't go the distance. <laughs> we some hitters, man. Everybody in the in the division, the top top people in the division is is some hitters. So I, I don't see him going 
the distance. I One punch could change the fight. Yeah, right? that changes that changes all the momentum. You know, one punch is all it takes. Really, in any division, you know what I mean. Any 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 shot. But it but it's a, it's, is, it's heightened in the heavyweight but it's heightened division. In the heavyweights, exactly. Yeah. You know, so like I said, um, made the best man win. Talking about that lack of intensity and hunger, it looked like just a little bit. That's what showed up against Ruiz. How, if that's the case, how could he get that back? How does a, well, a, a mean, fighter like Joshua get when it back? You see, when you see everything that you've worked for um, become in jeopardy, then that alone should should bring that intensity. Um, I went over there to London, and Joshua is is like Michael Jordan. You know mm, what I mean? Mm. In the United States. So, I mean, just with that, a chance to lose all of that, I think he's going to have a different intensity and a different hunger in the fight. You think he wins that, that fight with Ruiz, that rematch? I hope so. You had to bet on you, hope, yeah, you like him. That's your guy. So you, yeah, I yeah, hope yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Do you think he actually will, though, if you were, if you were betting? <sighs> Ooh, that style that Ruiz has is going to be tough for Joshua. It's going to be a, t it's going to be a tough fight. And, you know, from what I'm hearing, um, you know, things aren't going like they were like in camp you know i mean mm. and, I, and i'm a, I, I don't have an insight on it i'm right. just hearing what i'm what i'm reading right. i mean you know i'm just speaking on what i'm what i'm reading um so it's going to be a very interesting fight you know and i and i hope and i hope joshua joshua pulls it out but ruiz is no slouch i sat next to uh joseph parker doing during the fight and he told me before the fight he says ruiz can crack mm -hmm. you know so well it's you gonna be tough you mentioned like that style ruiz brings is just tough is that is that what this just might be? Forget we're talking about intensity and hungry and was he there that night? Is right. it possible it's just a bad style? Right. It's well, just, yeah, you yeah. Know. It's, just a, it's just a bad style for a guy that big because Ruiz throws a lot of punches, a lot of punches. And big guys are normally used to seeing that, having to defend that. So um, it's, it's, a, it's a style that most heavyweights don't have, that hand speed that Ruiz has. Combination. So, that combination. So, I mean, I think his style would be a problem for any heavyweight. Because right, it, it seemed like that Joshua likes to do what Ruiz does. But Ruiz is shorter. He can kind of get on, you know. But Right, right. It, it'll be, it, it's going to be a tough It's going to be a tough fight for, um, for Joshua. But like I said, I hope, I hope that he pulls it out. You sparred Andy Ruiz, he's fighting Joshua in a rematch. What do you remember from the sparring and what do you think about the rematch? What we're waiting on the thing is, is that, like I told everybody, I said, that Ruiz, I told, when, he would get, when they were getting ready to go in, I said, look, let me tell you something, I sparred with that guy. I said, a 19-year-old kid, I said, man, I, I knew he had it. I said, I knew, I said, I said look, I said, I hope Joshua ain't taking this guy for granted because of how his body looks. I said, he may have that little neck and that little round head, but he can fight. And, and, and so this fight happened that way now. I think that the difference is now is that now when they said with no excuses, okay, so you got to say it. Anthony, Anthony Joshua did not knock him down first. He just didn't finish him. Now, he got, you know, all of a sudden, he got knocked down three times and all this. Now, at the point, the point of, I, I realize, now, it'll show you that in life, if somebody you chose, you thought, couldn't fight, because you, you're looking at the body. Now you find that this man can fight. Now, can he make the adjustment? And it'll show you how great Anthony Joshua is. Then, then whatever happened, you 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 don't know. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the other guy don't have to make no change. But you know, but he needs to know he don't want to get hit that right hand like that. Again. <laughs> Would but, you want to fight Andy Ruiz if you were a pro fighter, a champ? Or? No, I'm not. I don't want to fight nobody. No, no, you were still fighting. <laughs> no, if you know, if I was still fight because I feel that I can beat everybody. Okay. I think that's the whole big point of me fight. Me feel that I can beat everybody. Once I realized I after sparring him, after sparring him when that camp was over, I realized I don't ever want to fight that guy. <laughs> and I so so he had to be great because the fact of the matter, I remember I, I said, no, I'm retired. I, I did my last fight after that. I, I knocked my guy out. Then after you that, were done. I, I, I realized 
I don't ever want to have to spot somebody and hope that I'm going to dodge them the whole time because I ain't going to want to fight them. Everybody, you know, youth is his strength. Yeah. And I guess I'm 19 years old. I'm 46. I, you know, if, if somebody chasing you down like this, you know, that when, I, when we spar, you know what you're doing? Cutting the ring off of me. To, he put me in a, in a situation that I got to square up on him. And, and he hit hard then. I'm done at 19, he hit hard then. I'm just ain't gonna tell him. I'm like, you know, so, I'm so, like, I know he gonna fight his same fight. Big one next week, Joshua and Ruiz. What do you think of that? Man, I'm a huge fan of Anthony Joshua. Uh, no secret there. Um, but I don't know, I just I have trouble seeing it going any different than it did the first time. You know, um, it's just, it's just a style matchup. You know, it's a tough style. I think that Andy Ruiz with the, with the speed, the power. But who knows, though? I mean, I would love to see Joshua pull a Lennox Lewis and come back from a, from a knockout loss with a you know with a with a win. But I like Andy. I like Anthony. I like. I think they're both great great for for boxing. Um, should be a great fight. So it's more of a, a uh, stylistic thing, not not because everyone we're all psychoanalyzing Joshua, wondering if it's that, if he's mentally broken. Yeah, no, or... I don't think it's that. I think it's just a style matchup. I don't think that that matchup's ever a good a good matchup for for Joshua. You know, I think that uh, you know the fast hands. I, I said this before the fight, first fight. I, I said, watch out, don't see about any Ruiz. You know, he's a he's a very tough, hard hitting, fast handed heavyweight, which is rare. What is it about the stuff? I'll take a crack at it. Is it because uh, uh, Joshua likes mid to close range, you know, left hooks, uppercuts, and Ruiz likes the same? But I think it's, it's the hand speed. I think okay. that uh, I think that um, Andy has quick hands, and his puncher's actually short. He's a short puncher, so fighting on the inside, getting on the inside, and he's, it doesn't help. That it doesn't hurt that he's tough as nails. He, he can take the power on the way in. He did get dropped in the first fight, but other than that, he took the punches really well. He waited through to get inside to let his hands go. And that's the thing, when he gets inside, he, he doesn't make the mistake that other shorter fighters make against tall guys where they get handcuffed. He lets his shit go. And just to, to I, I don't know if you saw the gloves are off on Sky Sports, I don't know if you got a chance to see I that, but know. they face off and mm -hmm. speak to each other. Um, but what, what, do, what do you make about the mental battle there? So many, it's been so much made of it. Yeah, no, I mean, mental is, is a big part of this game and probably a lot more than half of it. Um, but, you know, there are certain things you can overcome, you know, being strong mentally, going, having a good camp, having a good culture in the camp. And apparently Joshua didn't have that, you know, going into the first fight. So, um, you know, hopefully they fix that and we get the best, the best version of each guy and see, see who's, who, who's going to win. Do you have him by uh, knockout at around what time of the fight or a decision or how do you? Hard to say. Like I said, in my mind, I kind of see a very a similar fight to the first fight. Right. Um, but I also could definitely see Joshua coming out and... And getting his revenge, you know, so he could do that relatively early. He could be mid rounds. Um, yeah, it's a hard fight to call. And you are the only man to beat Andy Ruiz. How surprised were you, or were you surprised when he beat um, Anthony Joshua? I think a lot of people were surprised of how the fight did finish. I think um, we, as a team, knew that he had the ability to to win, but we didn't expect him to win like that. And mm -hmm. so for him, you no, know, we were happy for him, you know, and he made some history for Mexico and his family. And you know. It was, it was a bit of a surprise, it was a bit of a shock, but you know, he's, it was well deserved. And I guess uh, with the rematch, we're just going to see who's going to come back and uh, who's going to be more improved with the rematch. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. You've been in with both men. Who do you think can make the better adjustments? Uh, you know, Andy's, for me, Andy's the more, more skilled, you know, and he's, and he's got a, a big background in boxing, you know, amateur mm -hmm. and professional. So um, just depends, you know, I, and also. Josh has got a great team behind him, so I'm sure they'll make the adjustments they need to make in, in uh, coming into the rematch. Who are you rooting for in the Joshua Reese rematch? Who do I who do I think is gonna win? No, who are you rooting for? I'm rooting for both of them, man. I just it's gonna be a great fight. I know both guys, both guys are great fighters. Um we all we, we all knew on the, the boxing insiders, we know what you know Ruiz could do and um and, and, and Joshua I don't think he uh, was fully expecting the test that well, you know what I mean? It's, it's, you know, he didn't prepare for him. He was preparing for Miller. And then, you know, I've had that happen before where the opponents change and you kind of lose your, your, you know, the same type of momentum and anxiety that you was thinking about for this one guy. I know I know Joshua had a lot of buildup for the Miller fight because there was things, words exchanged. So it changed when it was with um, Ruiz and then he went into the fight. He might have been chilling a little bit too much. And then, so I think for the next fight, uh, Josh is going to prepare harder. He's going to train harder. He's going to train smarter. He's going to train to get his title back. And I think Ruiz, uh, he's going to have to fully 
embrace the moment and look, look I won the title I made a lot of money I'm, things looking good but you know what it could all lose I can, it all be taken away and even the money might be able to come in from investments and all that but being heavyweight champion in the world it's not like it so I think that um, he's better you know be ready to keep that title that night Shen, you think uh, it seems like Anthony's losing weight. He looks a little slimmer. In, yes. In pictures. You think that's the, the right strategy for him? That's the right route? Yeah, I think for this fight, he's going to have to um, He's gonna have to move. He's going to have to have those legs. He's going to have to be able to box Ruiz for for 24 rounds because that's the pressure that's going to be able to come. He's going to have to box. He's going to have to be able to box for 24 rounds on his toes and using his jab. Not running, but just using his jab, using a hard jab, a hard right hand, and another jab. And he caught him with that hook. And, you know, he dropped him, but that ain't the punch for this man. You got to keep him off you. You got to box him and keep him at a distance. If he able to, he going to have to fight him like Lewis, like like Lewis Fort Tua. You know what I'm saying? going to have to jab, right hand jab, and keep him at a distance. And if something open up, catch him or go back on that jab. You know what I mean? But prepare for a 24-round fight. Do you feel that, say, he, he hurts Andy, right? Like, just like last time, he kind of went in for the kill. And right. That's kind of where he, when he got caught up, is it? Is that going to be difficult when you have, you know, the arena full of a thousand fans screaming because you hurt someone, you got to attack them, right? Nah, it ain't going to be difficult because he's going to learn from the last fight. He's going to be like, you know what? I'm, you know, I, I ain't spending all my money in one show, in one party. I got to other clubs is open too. If he spend his money early, he's going to be out of gas. He's going to be a long walk home, champ. So he's going to be like, nah, he's going he gonna to be smart. If I hurt him, I got to save a little bit of money, but I got to be smart. I got to be a thinker. I can't, I can't. I can't not take advantage of the moment? Well, I, I, you know, as far as the fight, I don't see anything that will go differently. In other words, even though I didn't figure Ruiz to win the first fight, after watching the first fight, I don't think Joshua got as an answer for it. I think the style of Ruiz and Ruiz's fight is made to order to, to beat Joshua. That being said, uh, well, I think Ruiz will win that fight and win it probably the, the same way as he won the first fight. It's still a big attraction and it's a big fight. Joshua and Ruiz, who wins that fight and, and why, Dre? Man, I, I don't know. You know, it's a lot of variables. Um, I want to see if Ruiz still, still has the hunger that he had going into the first fight. Mm -hmm. You know, he's living it up as he should to a degree, but you, you know, too much of that to take your hunger away. He's losing weight. I don't know how much weight I want to see him lose. And I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but a guy that's been fighting at that weight for so long, you don't want to see him trying to lose weight. Just get in the best shape you can and let your, your weight fall where it's going to fall. Joshua looks like he's, he's leaning out and slimming down. So I don't really have an opinion on it, man. I just want to see if the first fight was a fluke. And I want to see if Joshua can find the resolve to do what many great heavyweights have done before him, which is go take back something that was taken from you. If he, if he can do it, He's gonna still be mentioned in there with the, with the top heavyweights today. If he can't, that might be it for him. Well, a lot of a lot of a lot of people are talking about he needs to do be more like Lennox, be more like Vlad. You know, use his height more. Is that what he should do? Should he just be the guy he's always been and you know turn it up to 100? I don't know if he could become another fighter man in, in a short period of time. You know, I do think the biggest the biggest thing for me is take some of that mass off. Be who you've been to get to this point. Sure up a few areas. Robert McCracken is a great coach. You know, tighten up a few things. Think about rematches. You don't, you don't try to do a complete overhaul. Take one or two things, tighten up on, and uh, get some of that mass off. He's in a good position. You know the big one next weekend, Joshua and Ruiz rematch. Who's gonna win that fight? Uh, like I said, like I said before, if Andy can stop him like he did the first time. And you're gonna win. If we go to the decision, they're gonna jerk up in Saudi Arabia and give it to AJ. There's a reason why they fight in Saudi. Drug testing and protocols are not stricter like this in other countries. That's why they're going over there right now. So, like I said, they don't want other people couldn't be able to fight, but they're going to fight in Saudi. So, it's a little giddy. I hope Andy pulls it out. And Big Baby, man, everyone's talking about Joshua's head. Joshua's head, psychologically. What do you think about all that heading into the fight? Uh, we're going to see, man. Uh, I always say, I know once to push his buttons enough, he going to punk out. I always said, it. somebody finally did it, and we're going to see what's going to happen in the rematch. And, and lastly, Jarrell, man, you said if if he can get him inside the distance, he'll get the fight. He can't get a decision. Yeah. Do you think he will get him inside the 12 rounds, Ruiz? Uh, it's 50-50. But I think, I think if... If Andy, if AJ is in box, Andy gonna get him. Can AJ really box like no. that? <laughs> okay. If he goes into rematch, confident, different training, different methods, new style, new technique, and gets hit 
Versus. You automatically get that flashback. Damn, this guy beat me uh, by it. Knocked me down four times. Do you automatically mentally change? He shouldn't. He shouldn't. But that's that's something that he's gonna have to battle. That's something that 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 Joshua is gonna have to battle. As soon as he gets touched, is he gonna mentally resolve back to that? And that's where the mental toughness comes in at. You know. And a lot of times, there's a lot of people who want to know how to build mental toughness. They say, how do you build mental toughness? Well, you got to do everything right. And, and there can't be any holes, holes anywhere. No hole, and, 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 and what I mean by this is that from when you start, you get up in the morning time. What you're supposed to do? You get up, you brush your teeth, you wash your face, okay? Most of us don't even make our bed. You make your bed. You know, you put your shoes on, you, you, when you do your laundry, do you fold your laundry? Or do you just throw it in the drawer? You know, do you hang what needs to be hung? You, you, do you hang it up? You know, all of these things, you have to do everything right. Do you wash your car every week when your car's dirty? Do you clean your car out when, it, when, it, you know, when things get in and it's not supposed to be in there? Do you clean it out right away? You know, you have to do things right all the way through your life. All the way through. That's how you build mental toughness. Because you know, when you know you've done everything right, that sharpens. This sharpens. You pay attention to detail. Everything. Your clothes pressed. Your, sh your shoes are clean. You know what I'm saying? Your teeth are whitened. You, you know, you're looking good. You're feeling good. So Joshua's going to have to answer that question. Is he doing everything right right now? Did he change some things in his life? You know, did he get himself right with his outside life? You know, that's the most important thing for him right now. He has to get things right outside. Then he has to get things right in the gym with the training, getting on his technique, stop being lazy. You know what I'm saying? That laziness carries, man. You got to understand that. When you get up and you don't make your bed in the morning, <laughs> that's one thing. That's, it's lazy. Why don't you make your bed in the morning? So then you, that goes, and then in another area in your life, you're going to be, oh, it's okay. It's all right. And then another area in your life, it's like, oh, it's okay. It's all right. But that's how, that's how, that's how, that's how you have downfalls, especially in the ring. So, Joshua, when you do get hit, you're going to have to answer, ask yourself that question because let me tell you something. The, the Joshua that I saw, in the fight against, who is it? What's his name? Uh, oh, what's that boy name? Uh, no, 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 no. This was years ago. Klitschko. That guy. That guy right there. Bring that guy back. That guy right there, Joshua. Klitschko. The Klitschko Joshua. That's what we need to see if you want to win your championship back. You got up off the canvas. You were hurt several times. And you came back and you knocked him out.